Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing and, well, not really finishing, but we're beginning the first steps to finishing the final game of the Mass Effect trilogy, Mass Effect 3. And I think this is the first time I've actually shown this, and once we actually begin this proper, I'll swap over and actually put in the proper game capture. Because, for some reason, this is like, I don't know, a weird selection screen with three different executables. <laughs> Instead of just being one game, there are three games in a trench coat, which is kind of hilarious. But, I guess before we begin Mass Effect 3 proper, I'll give my, f my overall thoughts of Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 before we head on in to Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect 1, while a fun time, felt a bit basic and repetitious, especially when it came to, like, the inventory management and the copy-and-paste environments to a degree. But uh, being able to walk around, like, the Citadel and the wards talking to people was a fun time. Uh, and the moral choices, while minor, were still a, a fun to go through, even if the Paragon Renegade Charm Intimidate system was a bit of a pain. Mass Effect 2 was quite the, like, step up from Mass Effect 1. The choices felt, like, more choicey. The, uh, the... D -d 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 thoughts, they, uh, they fixed the inventory system because there isn't one. You just have, uh items that you eventually get and then can put on anyone unless they specifically say are for this character alone. Which is pretty decent, I'd say. I didn't have to worry about Omnigel and destroying five billion things. Which was nice and fun and handy dandy. And overall, it felt like the characters were more charactery. Although, there is one thing that I learned while reading the Mass Effect 2 TV Tropes page. And that is, apparently, I was correct. Because at one point, when you first come to Ilium, you run into Conrad Werner, your mega fan from Mass Effect 1. But Mass Effect 2 had a glitch, and still has a glitch, which causes Conrad Werner and the game itself to not recognize your Paragon choice in regards to Conrad, and instead he misremembers it as you pointing a gun in his face. And the reason it wasn't fixed in the Legendary Edition was because instead of fixing it in the original Mass Effect 2 once it came to light, they just decided, hmm, this is a big RPG that takes like 40 hours to do all the way through. Instead of forcing people to play through this big, big game again for this one minor choice to fix, let's just have... bake it in to the lore and canon of the third game, apparently. Which is kind of silly. Which retroactively makes it impossible and meaningless to fix it in Mass Effect 2 because the choice is carried over to Mass Effect 3 anyway, because I think it's like the only... Like, I don't know. All I know is they acknowledge the mistake from Mass Effect 2 involving Conrad Werner misremembering into Mass Effect 3, which I think is a little annoying, but at the same time, again, big RPGs, and they didn't want to send out a hot fix and be like, oh, I, it is fixed now, and people just to go, I'm not playing through a 40-hour RPG all over again just to fix one minor, minor, minor selection mistake that was made on your behalf, Bioware. So they just like, eh, hey, screw it, we'll just make it a part of the lore. And... Da -da -da. I did kind of uh, half debate if I should do, like, mods at all, especially after learning about that mistake of Conrad Werner's, like, hmm, should I do mods like, uh, uh, I was mostly just, like, quickly browsing through the various mods, not really looking at anything in depth, and one was, like, an optional flirting mod, which would be nice, but I'll just have to, but I, I, eh, I just decided, screw it, I'll just save before talking to anybody. And be super duper freaking careful because, uh, being a nice person means you're flirting with people in these games. Eh. 
and the only thing that I was spoiled on while looking through the mods was apparently the prices of upgrades and items are ridiculous and you could play through the game five times on New Game Plus and still not have enough credits to buy everything. So I'm going to be stingy with my frickin' credits in this game. But all that aside, let us get on with the start of Mass Effect 3. Ah, oh, fuck, it's gonna do the HDR thing, isn't it? Where it's gonna be like, oh, a HDR is activated. Which is a bit annoying. Yeah. Because I don't really see, like, please just let me go in to options. Thank you. Nice selection screen. All right, calibration. Turn off HDR. Because while HDR does look nice, it kind of hurts my eyes with how it handles, like, the, uh, the things. Let's see. Graphics. Oh, yeah. And I also forgot. was going to head over. And move on to Mass Effect 3 executable. Instead of being just a monitor capture. Mainly because when I was running on a, a laptop long, long ago and I was messing around with capture settings, uh, one thing that I noticed is sometimes games run better if I do specifically game capture instead of just monitor or window capture. Bibbidi bop. Let's see. Where be? Where be? Combat, normal, auto level up, off, squad, views, powers. Why is the only thing that is auto off subtitles? <laughs> squad mates, helmets, default off, shepherds, helmet is default. Conversation, all conversations require participation, no choices are made for you. Why is that an option? No decisions, all conversations play automatically, no responses are chosen for you. That is a weird option. That is a weird thing. What does it default to is kind of my question, but meh. I kind of want to look at the achievements. But they spoiled me last time. But I still kind of want to look at the achievements. If they have an in-universe diddly D like last time, maybe. But we'll probably skip it, but... Whoo! Please import correctly and have there be no glitches. Like, I can't believe Grunt died back there. He's like, no, I saved everybody, you bastards. Import ME2. Earthborn, war hero, infiltrator, created on. I don't know if that's correct. That might be the ME2 creation, but let's go. Import from a specific save. Ooh, it actually says. Saved the Rachni Queen. Rescued Caden Alinko on Vermeer. Chose to save the Council. Saved Malin's data. Saved Malin. Malin? Yeah, the genophage Solarian guy. Kept Rex alive on Vermeer. Chose to destroy the Geth heretics. Still one of the most big, like moral decisions on my part is just like what do I do what do I do more people for legions geth but at the same time potential trauma from the uplink and also the fact that they like are all brainwashing bit altering a bit in the geth psyche of these heretic geth and they're eventually going to uplink their memories will that affect anything I just figured we're not brainwash Destroyed the collector base. Survived the suicide mission with 12 squad mates. All 12 squad mates. Did not romance anyone before ME2. Because there's only three options, and one of them is basically shoved on you. <laughs> it's like, Dr. Tassoni. Dr. Tassoni. <laughs> it basically felt like, and not to mention going into Mass Effect 2 with the... Uh, especially with the Shadow Broker DLC, it really still feels like they're like, Dr. Tassoni is the canon waifu. 
because she's basically shoved onto you and easy to romance in Mass Effect 1. And then she has the most focus out of any romanceable from Ma Mass Effect 1 in Mass Effect 2, especially once you add on the uh, Shadow Broker DLC. Uh, romance tally in ME2. You're goddamn right. Well, import my character. That's a pretty loading screen. Alliance Headquarters, Active Duty Reactivation Protocol. Active Duty Reactivation. I shall accept my import face. Let's see. Infiltrators are tech and combat specialists with the unique ability to cloak themselves from visual. I never used that ability because I was an idiot. Their inventory is stacked with a wide variety of weapons, equipment, and powers. Infiltrators are deadly at any range, but particularly so with a sniper rifle when scoping. Uh, disruptor ammo, cryo ammo, incinerate, tactical cloak, sticky grenade, and sabotage. And I'll stick with my infiltrator choice. I shall accept I am the Earthborn. I am the war hero. I am the infiltration unit. Choose enter. You cannot change these once you start. Shepard's current health bar. Oh, it went by too fast. Damn thee, Billy Bones. My Bioware production. What's happened since Mass Effect 2? The Reapers were on the way. I was being held for war crimes, oh, I think. Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. It's called Reapers, idiots. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. And nobody took me up on my warnings. Why? Why did nobody take me up on my warnings? God help us all. God help you. I already did my part two times over. In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone in the universe. 30 years later, they found a peaceful place among the... But its idyllic future is overshadowed by the uh, past reapers, the sentient race of machines, responsible, blah, 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 uh, are about to return. The leaders of the galaxy are paralyzed by indecision, unable to accept the legend of the reapers as fact, but one soldier has seen the legend come to life, and now the fate of the galaxy depends on him. I have to read... I had to read fast because they do not let you have these freaking opening scrolls for long, man. I swear. I try to read it normally, and then it goes away. That's not the Normandy. I knew it. It was too <laughs> off-model. This is the first time we've seen a child. I'm scared. That child is gonna die. The existence of a child is a death flag for this game. I have shoulder pads. The fuck are you? Commander. James? You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The Why am I not supposed to, to be saluted? Did I retire? Probably I was kicked out of the military for blowing up the relay. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Why am I not as muscled as this guy? Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? Relieved of it's duty, so I knew it. Once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. Oh, you mean the Reapers? The, the Reapers? Reapers that I told you about all this time? Know. Not for certain. <laughs> what else could it be? If I knew that. Hmm. We should have prepared more. You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. <laughs> None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. Then I blew up a human you've one. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. And I'm that not in the military anymore. You. Took away my ship. You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. I wonder what would have been court martialed and left to rot in the brig. Eh. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. I still want to know so what happens if you don't do the arrival DLC. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be. I'm not a soldier. I'm an infiltrator. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. Hey, uh, no, I was gonna say, is that my? They're expecting you to, Admiral. For a moment, it looked like my secretary. 
she did. But it's not my secretary because my it's secretary is Cerberus. Secretary. Kind of funny that the guy who's like, I don't, I'm not supposed to salute you either, isn't in military Anderson. anything. Hey, Caden. Shepard. Kate. How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Just happy that you're alive Wait. in here. You hadn't heard? No, I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. Still, so it's... It's good to see you. Admiral. Nice to see you too, my dude. Come on. Well, that's a nice smile. It's a winning smile. You know the commander? I used to. I blew up a lot of people with him and after he left. Hello, bitches. It's me. Commander Mander. I wonder if Udina is here. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole well, colonies in Gondark. <laughs> Look at we it. Hmm. This is exactly what I warned you day. about. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Fools! I warned you all! Then, how do we stop them? We start planning two years ago. Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But, there must be some way. We stand together. We go to the Council. We do if shit. We're gonna have any chance at surviving this. We have to stand together. That's it. That's our plan. Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon. They couldn't be that close already. Okay, Indoctrination. Defenses. Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. That beret ain't gonna help you. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Surprise! Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? He's dead. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. I wonder where Cerebrus is, Cerberus is in all this. How the hell did you all let this happen? How did you let the Reapers get this close? Anything that can kill Reapers. We've got to get moving. I wonder if they have any ground units. Admiral Anderson, report in anyone. Major Alanco, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have the contact. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Looks like the apocalypse is here. <clears throat> we just jump off the ledge. They're massive. Come on, Shepard. Cadence headed to the Normandy. They'll pick us up if we can get to the space. Let's move. Set V to oh, follow end there. Yeah. 
Follow Anderson to the spaceport. Look out! Don't you die on me, Anderson. Tons of codex. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Hopefully Hackett is alive. Man, that's a skybox. <laughs> Rubber banding. Well, those are collector vessels, or at least uh, the kind of collector zippy zoo. Also, we're back to having a health bar underneath our shield bar. I'm patching in Shepard. Lieutenant Vega. Take him out. Oh. I'm out of ammo. And we still have clips. All right, that was a weird camera angle. Have to take these things out the old-fashioned way. Don't let him grab you. Die. Gotta find a way out of here. I got experience for that. Watch it. Ah, so if you run or hold, do this way. It's a gutter rat. You're the kid that I saw out there. You're gonna be taken by Everyone's a husk. Everyone's dying. Yep. Let me help you. <laughs> Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. He's you gonna get dragged away. Me. Why? Shepard. In here. Let me guess. That kid's an illusion. I'll automatically, like you can't help me. That kid is an. I don't know. A forsaken memory. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. It is an invasion of Earth. The Turians didn't even get this far. Here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. I understand how you. <laughs> I won't be responsible. Enough fighting a war, but it's worth knowing no matter how hard you try. You can't save them all. Exactly. It's so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. Because we didn't prepare. Not really. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reavers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. I still want to know what happens if you don't do a rival sure DLC. That? Obviously, the Reapers don't well, invade early. That has to count for something. But you still have to be grounded, I guess. Gotcha. <sighs> Anderson's Thanks. gonna die in this, isn't he? I owe you one. More than one. Grab Just the like the crew of the Normandy. Reload. Let's keep moving. Just like the. Uh, uh, what's his name? The other Spectre at the beginning of the first game. There went a big ship. Too bad it was our big ship. Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in. Friendlies. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Fuck. 
Oh, you're new. Keep your head down. Nice shot. Finish them all. Cannibal. Shepard, over here. I got what some meta gel. We can use it. Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. And there's our way across. Let's get to that gunship. Cannibals are gonna get so much stronger in the future, aren't they? Wait. Yeah. Called cannibals for a reason, sir. Then again, you probably can't see the hut because you're a normal person in this universe. Oh, I just hope that there aren't any timed stuff in this game. At least too much timed stuff in this game. And if it is timed, they let me know. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Set They're gonna hear us. We've They're gonna hear our distress here. beacon. We're right underneath its ass. Major. Damn it, I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. I thought there was going to be a husk coming out. Soon. You and me both. Incinerate! How many of these goddamn things are there? Incinerate! Luckily, my shield's doing okay. I wonder if I'll get any import bonuses. Where is the ammo? I don't see any ammo. Running out of ammo. Preach. But I do have this. Right as I ran out of ammo. I was gonna start resorting to in mass incinerate. About time. Please don't destroy yet another Normandy in the opening. <clears throat> Anderson's gonna die. I just feel it. He's too far behind. Anderson, please. Admiral. Welcome aboard, Shepard. Thanks. Shepard. Come on. He has his own ride. I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. If you stay, I'm We're staying. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species, and all their ships, to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. 
What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go. That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore. Remember? <laughs> Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Don't you dare die on me. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Stay alive out there. They're not just gonna nuke him, are they? That would be the harshest thing. Well, it does seem like the Reapers are letting up on this area a bit. I've heard this song before. Well, there's the boy. Maybe he's not a forsaken spirit. No, that he's gonna be now. He's gonna be a forsaken spirit. The big blom. And again, how did the Reapers get this close, this fast? And we, like, surely they could have told... S telescopes! You have telescopes! How did you not freaking see this coming? Anybody! Surely there's billions of people on planet Earth. Surely some people were looking out of their goddamn home telescopes and are like, hmm, there are giant ships coming towards Earth. I'm already annoyed by this opening. They're here all of a sudden, as if they could teleport. It's dumb. We lost contact. How? Like, you can see far, far away with frickin' telescopes. How did it... how? Did it take you this long? What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? We're going to the council. Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel. Get help for the fight. Bullshit. He wouldn't order us to leave. I don't like it either. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war is already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We have to think beyond it. We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, my boy! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find his outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. We have found a way to stop the Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. They're just messing with all our communications, aren't they? Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. Also, this does not look like the this Normandy. Why Mars? Not the Normandy I'd Does remember. We'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war. Grab your gear. I love that I've like never worn that armor. Not like that. Return to active duty. Then I, I wonder if they took back the Normandy 2 and remodeled it, or if this is like the Normandy 3. 
They didn't trust the Cerberus systems. And all the fucking credits and platinum I poured into it. I bought so many upgrades! So many! They could repair scars on the face! Any sign of reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears well, Edie's boring. still here. Yay. Possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll Probably not. Enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. Oh, but I'm just so paranoid. This is the last game of the trilogy. And I don't want to mess things up. I got my people out of a suicide mission. I could fuck everything up. The universe is at stake. I mean, I guess the universe was at stake before too, but like, it's more obviously at stake here. Where's the hammerhead? I missed the hammerhead. From the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Where did James come from, anyway? Where's Jacob? Level 31! Priority Mars! And I got my Mantis back. I have no credits. Uh, okay, they rearranged things. Create a new save. <laughs> okay, that was a fast save. God. Let's see, squad. I am level 31 with 25 points. Operational mastery. Be an expert tactician on and off the battlefield. More time on, uh, well, at least I got my uh, Paragon uh, stuff on. Yay. Let's see, more time to line up the perfect shot, quicker reflexes, more dexterity, more charisma. Oh. Squad bonus. In I want to see. Operational mastery. Being expert tactician on and off the battlefield increases all that stuff. Increases reputation bonus. Increases weight capacity bonus. Weight capacity bonus? What's weight capacity? Increase sniper time dilation by 10%. Increase weapon damage. Increases reputation. And then I didn't even get to choose this one, but I probably did in the last game because uh, once you max out that, you were able to choose all oh, this or this, but I. It was in such a terrible place, I didn't know you could select some in things until it was too late. I could have done increased power duration and reputation bonus, uh, but I went for weapon damage stuff, uh, uh, even though I didn't know. Increased weight capacity by 30. I probably should get that, but let's see. Increased squad mate, weapon damage. But what is weight capacity? Because my weight capacity is super down. And up here... Increase power and damage, uh, sniper rifle damage, and headshot damage. Power damage and duration. Hmm. Squadmate damage would be nice. Squadmate damage would be nice, but at the same time, increase weight. I just don't, I, I'm afraid. I'll head back here. Let's see. Fitness. More melee damage. Health shield barriers. One... And then we get to a bunch of stuff. I'll go ahead and get one stick grenade. So I have the power. I have the power. Let's see. I think I'll go sniper rifle damage and headshot damage. Evolve any of your powers at rank six. <laughs> Uh, and I'm once again, squadmates getting disrupted, uh, ammo up 50% effectiveness. Or just increase health damage and stuff, so that was, that's probably better anyway. Increase headshot damage or ammo capacity. I'd probably go ammo capacity. But... Hmm. I increase melee damage, health and shield bonus. Health shield bonus. I'm not really a melee guy. Sabotage. Eh, I'll hold on for just a moment. 
Reeve. Drain a target's health and disrupt their resistances. Overload. Cryoblast. Freeze flash and shatter unprotected and may slow down the rest. At least up to level three. bit of that. Just a little bit of that. Just give you options to spam during the game. Go ahead and give you better personally. Increase weapon damage or health and shields. I'm going to give you health and shields. Biotic power or tech power. You're primarily a biotic, right? Let's see. Wish I would like say. Barrier, obviously, is biotic. Yeah, biotic field. This feels like it would be biotic as well. Overload is probably tech. Cryoblast feels biotic to me. But I don't know. More than likely, it's biotic, biotic, tech, tech. Uh, I'll go biotic. Let's see. Arms Master. All the way to level 3 at least. Frag Grenade will get you to level 2. Incendiary Ammo, level 2. Carnage. Rip a target into shreds with this vicious blast. Wait. Major collateral damage to enemies nearby. Let's see. Increase health and shields or weapon damage. Hmm. You do have fortification, but I think having you on your feet for longer is a a nice thing. And I'll give you fortification. Kind of annoying that's like, you can level them up! No, I can't. I literally can't. And I'll save my points. And we're gonna make another save now that we went through all that rigmarole. And it doesn't look photo mode. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have a... Oh, no, the codex is just shoved in here now. All of this stuff. Codex secondary. All of this stuff. The Reaper War. The fall of Earth. The Reapers took Earth in a matter of hours. The Alliance knew the first wave would arrive from Batarian space, but they were unprepared for the speed and scale of the attack because nobody was looking through their fucking cold telescopes at Batarian space. Ugh. The Reapers bypassed the 6th and 7th fleets of Terra Nova and Eden Prime, flying straight from relay to relay where they could ne neither be tracked nor intercepted. Okay, that is decent enough. They were, but at the same time, why aren't you looking at the relays? That explains that, oh, they're not coming from Batarian space technically. They're coming, at, they got to one relay and they went doo -doo 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 -doo, like ping pong balls. But you still should be looking at the goddamn relays. There's not that many. <laughs> Technically. The tactic was unexpected. Ah, yes. Bum rush. Bum rush <laughs> through the entryway. Nobody saw it coming. The tactic was unexpected since the navies of organic species would never risk coming out of FTL within combat range. Okay, that's another reason. They came out of FTL in combat range. But at the same time, these are fucking machines. Mm. Idiots. I still think they're like, hmm, we're not on the lookout for anything, really. At Octura Station, more than a dozen Reaper capital ships engaged the Alliance's second, third, and fifth fleets. This was mere se uh, scre this was mere screening for the main force. Dozens more capital ships continued through the Karen Relay, where the first fleet had been lying in wait, but was soon destroyed. The fourth fleet was near Earth, had a few minutes of advance warning, it stood no better chance. After destroying Earth's comm buoys, smaller Reaper destroyers wiped out all GPS and communication satellites in Earth's orbit and cut the undersea fiber optic cables that linked the continents. 
Earth's resistance now relies on outdated radio towers and a few quantum entanglement communicators whose matched pairs happen to be on other continents or outside the solar system. Communication is so limited that the fate of the entire nations remains unknown. You'd think more people would have quantum entangled communications. You know, just to bypass all that. But we're here. We go. Evolve your powers at rank six, yes. That's a huge storm. Looks a lot bigger in person. Pretty average for Mars, actually. I'm glad you're so optimistic. Yeah, we've got Reapers invading Earth. The station here is offline. A little dust storm seems like the least of our worries. Fair enough. Yes, yes, I already know. I already clicked that game. Press V for objective. V for vendetta. What button is throw grenade game? I'm gonna go to key bindings. Or is it just use an ability? It's probably just an ability use. Me dumb. I can actually move my things around. It's a miracle. What's that? Dead body. Experience for that. Those gunshot. Holy shit! They're executing them. They know we're here now. Wrong button. But go over, call, Baba. Okay, good. Dang it, that worked in Mass Effect 1. Who are these guys? guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Really? Sure looked like it. Why, Cerberus. Cerberus? What are they doing here on Mars? Why are they killing Good humans? Question. You don't know. I'm not with them anymore, Caden, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit, uh, convenient. When would I Come execute, on. like, uh, civilians? I wonder, is there... My question is why? Cerberus isn't about this. Yeah, it's just like, this isn't Cerberus's playbook. Sure, they experiment with husks, reaper, uh, thorian creepers and shit. But they don't invade exactly alliance things and well, kill civilians. Not like this. Weakening the alliance during a Reaper invasion Shepard, isn't their shit. About what? Do you know anything about why Cerberus is here? No. You think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. They revived me. It was a temporary alliance. <laughs> we joined forces to take down the collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Or why they're killing innocent civilian the people. Been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. It's just a... We've been through a lot. I'd still keep my helmet on. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Caden. I wouldn't say it like that. I wanted to say like more like, we've been through a lot, Caden. You know me. Even while I worked for them, I didn't do Please. things like this. Trust me. I do, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I don't have that gun. I have pistol and sniper. Dr. Tassoni! The clicky clank is hurting my ears. 
Well, at least she's still alive. He's trying to climb back in. Also, aren't you Shadow Broker? Why are you here? Go ahead and execute him. Fuck these guys. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. I thought you were busy being Shadow Broker. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard. Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? General Hackett. Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. <laughs> I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. How convenient, here on Mars. In the Prothean archives, yes. Hmm, we're just learning this now? We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a shadow broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... You did the right thing. I was under house arrest. There wasn't much I could do to help you anyway. I suppose you're right. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Seems too good to be true. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they but doing they here? Have... Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why them alone? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Are... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. But again, they're trying to elevate so humanity. That's their whole thing. Find technology and things We've got and elevate humanity. Bring it on. Not this just slows down the work. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But You're gonna die, aren't you? Now we can Then again I did pour. Re uh, ability points into use? Probably not. I hear them. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. But again, this isn't their playbook. They want to elevate humanity, and this slows down that work. Use biotics on Cerberus attackers. I can use singularity to draw them out. Oh, I guess. Singularity. Not a problem for someone with biotics. Reeve. <laughs> okay, Won't you're an idiot. He floated up. around and then he died. Highly amusing. Damn it, I can't use my just look around ability. Do super fine things from far away anymore. So that's one way to get over instead of the... I activate you. Oh, I have to be super How close. Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. 
Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Yeah, it's just like, again, this isn't Cerberus's playbook. Their original thing was supposed to be elevating humanity. Oh, I can dodge now. But yeah, this doesn't elevate humanity at all. This puts humanity at a disadvantage, so it just it doesn't make sense. Okay, so you, there's more dodge options. Yeah, just overall, Cerberus isn't about this. Ah, uh, that's why. The elevator. There's got to be another way up. The sprinting feels a lot better in this game, I have to say. Getting over things is quicker. You can actually dodge. But yeah, I just I can't get over. Quick kill. Huh. Oh, where the hell are you come? Again, it just it makes no sense. This isn't Cerberus's playbook. Cerberus doesn't want to bring humanity down. They feel like, oh, we can sacrifice some we'll people, to the but Controls should be nearby. this is much too risky. Unless they feel like there's a very good reason. Oh, you can carry a number of weapons, but if you exceed your weight limit... All right. All right, that, uh, all right. Understood. Damn it. Security's been tampered with. All right, what's the hacking mini game this time? See if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but Did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Miranda? Oh no. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? But at the same time, I wonder what Miranda's gonna be up to. She wouldn't be down for this. Right. Looks like there's construction nearby. I wonder if this is a group. splinter group. We can find a way around. Way. Great. I have an idea. I have a quick idea. What if this is a splinter group of Cerberus? Because the elusive man himself said in the past that things like Subject Zero, the experiment on Jack, wasn't uh, ordered by him. He also said things just like... So it's entirely possible this was a splinter group that got indoctrinated. Cameron Harrison to Exogeni Corporation. Miss Mika, thank you for your kind offer of new and cutting-edge technology. As with every offer you've made, we're going to have to decline. Our proprietary rights experts have gone over your contracts again and found them lacking again. And in short, we're not interested. Please don't contact us anymore. Huh. So it either seems like somebody was here to sell the Prothean technology. But yeah, hey, it's nice that, uh, Humans are the bastards for once.
What's our position? Damn it. That storm's going to be in here very soon. Yeah. I James may very well here. die. Good point. This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced open. No, you have to override security protocols. Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Now Before that is Cerberus. This is brutal, even by Cerberus standards. Yeah, it's just like, what the hell is Cerberus's deal here? Shoden Cameron Harris. Cam, who the hell is that woman messing in my files? Get her out of here. I won't have my system messed up by some wannabe expert who will be gone next week. Damn strangers who think they all know. Da -ba -ba. Don't you remember what happened last time? I wonder how many points do I get? Oh, I got a shit ton of points. Nice. Decrease shield recharge. Increase melee for 30 seconds when an enemy is killed by heavy melee. I think I'll just get the more reliable version. But yeah, again, it's just like I don't understand... Flashlights. Roger that. Don't get out. What's our order? There's an alliance force in here somewhere. We need to keep them away from the core. Take the next room. It's time. Get them down. Nice that I can actually shoot through this time. Upgrades. But again, it just this doesn't feel Cerberus. Am I not Cerberus enough for your Cerberus club? Cerberus doesn't bring down humanity. They elevate it. Even the crazy wackos are like, er, we're trying to do these highly unethical experiments to diddly D. We want to experiment on children to then create there the super go. biotic subject zero right to, the tram to elevate humanity. We want to plug someone hey, into a VI what happened here. to make them control Geth for the good of humanity. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. It's that bitch again. But I guess we know how Cerberus got in. Hmm. She didn't have a mask I on. Realized it when I met her. Or helmet. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Don't blame yourself. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? That's Saren talk. Our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix. Then we'll know that we Come did everything on, we could. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused even in the worst situations. I have a lot to live for. When there's so much at stake, I just think about what I'd lose if I failed. That's a terrible burden. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. Thanks, I want to believe you. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Got more Paragon. But again, it's just like, this doesn't make sense for... Weapon recharge speed. Do you read me? 
Amelia Hatterson to Mike O'Sullivan. Hey, stupid head, I won't ask how you're doing since I hear you guys are propagating germs in the shape of cold down in there in storage. Look, I know your Prothean dude has are fascinating and all, but you guys have got to stop burning the midnight oil and keep regular sleeping hours, honestly. Anyway, I forwarded the latest finds to HQ on Earth, and someone's depressurizing the area, warn secure. Oh. Where'd the body go, though? Faza Heikel Tekel. I, I know. Two uh, external specialists in the same week is a bit insane, but Hudson, I've heard about the Asari before. She's really well known and she's done some amazing research on the Protheans. I don't know Zip about Dr. Eva Chick, but Liara Tassone, she's the real thing. I'm attaching some of her advanced papers on Prothean culture. Read them, you'll be a believer. I can't wait until they introduce her. This is so exciting. is your deal, service? This isn't like you. Bring the assault rifle. Hmm. Nope, can't break that one. if I need to melee him. Yeah, just shoot their hands. Come on, there has to be ammo over here. Killed lots of dudes. Now oh, it's a grenade. What's that stench? They just activated the decontamination protocol. I am annoyed. Give me ammo. What if the staff's still inside? Deactivate. From the looks of it, the sterilizer is like suit. Yeah. This is where they studied the various relics unearthed here. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. Personal notes, S. Esparza. We haven't been able to decipher much, if anything, of the language yet, but the visual documentation gives us some ideas as to what, they're, what we're stuttering, namely us. They seem particularly interested in early humanity's evolutionary process, judging by the way they organize their files and highlight specific occasions. It seems a bit fantastic to write this, but everything indicates they seem to be trying to chart the curve of humanity's intellectual progress. Yeah, I don't think this kind of sanitization would, like, ever exist. Because, seriously, who in their right mind would ever make sanitization possible of frickin' killing you? I thought I hit that. Oh, I need to stop it in the right place. Get out of the way, idiot AI. Hmm. 
No, because it's on the door, so it doesn't want to open. Will you get out of my way, AI? There we go. Because it's all angled, but again, nobody in their right mind would ever frickin' A game? Asshole game? I was selecting a thing to pick up. Nobody in their right mind would ever, ever make something like that. Oh yeah, we just made a thing that can act, That's kill the people. Line. Takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Oh yeah. Can I level up? Yeah, I can. Completely forgot. Uh, stasis kind of bug. Stop it in me attracts with this powerful mass effect shoe a field. No effect on armor targets. Enemies eventually break out stasis after taking major damage. Ah. Give you that. Give you warp. Either increase damage or increase force damage. Force damage and impact radius of combo detonations by 50%. I don't know what that does. I'm just going to raise normal damage. Increase recharge speed bonus of all powers. Increase health and shield. For you, I'm going to go power. Increase weapon damage or force and duration by... Mm, you're mostly that, so... We'll build you as a power power. I still want to know what the hell Cerberus' deal is. Weapon unlocked. It just it doesn't make any sense for them to do this. Turret. Why do you have a turret inside the medical bay? I take it that's the only way in. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sights. No, I want to shoot I'll it. First. Don't let it target you. Oh. Keep moving. Nice that they have that as a function now. Actually pretty cool, but it feels like there's stuff down there, and I want it. The turret can't fire on us from here. I don't know. It feels like there's stuff down here. Well, like there would be. I guess not. Hopefully, the store is open forever. Or maybe there's just not stuff over there. Send us a tram. Can you override? Do I have to protect you? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very capable. He's, yeah, he's very good. Commander, I found something. That was quick. What have you got? 
He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... Oh, yeah. Looks like a husk. Cerberus has been compromised. Yeah, not quite. Or they maybe... Something to him. Cerberus have done a thing like and they've, like, super Cerberus? soldiers. They did this to their own guy? Either they've been indoctrinated... Is this what they did to you? Hmm. How can you say that? About which one? How can you say that? How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are. Or who. Not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet. Controlled by the elusive man himself. Doing all That's this? That's fair, kid. Don't try to explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to hell and back still in there? Somewhere. I'm still here, man. They didn't change me, Caden. But words won't convince you, will they? Probably not. I didn't think so. You were always stubborn. <laughs> Me? Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Busy fighting. Never mind, what's your status? <laughs> we're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position, flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Of course. Done! I want to look through this room a bit more, just in case. I'm on it. This is why. Research notes, J. Tasman. The last location seems to have run dry, but judging from the communication system layout and backup power supplies equipped by First Protein Research Base we discovered, we think a secondary base may be located deeper underground. We're going to be need permission from the powers that be to excavate further, but considering recent renewal of enthusiasm for the work we're doing, I don't think clearance will be an issue. Here they come. Give me my sniper. Oh, I actually shot him through the face slot. Now that I know I can do that. Hell yeah. Gonna go ahead and save. Before moving on. That something bad could happen, so he set a bomb to make sure. Still wondering, has Cerberus, or at least this Cerberus cell, been taken over by indoctrination? Or have they just started to huskify their soldiers for power boosts?
fire. That's hilarious to me. Thank you, Disruptor Ammo. What the Okay, that's fucking bullshit, mate. That was some bullshit. I was shooting him. That should be made illegal, shooting me while I'm shooting them. Completely throws me off my groove. Hmm. Let's see. More weight. I would have to drop the pistol for it. But more accuracy, eh, it doesn't really seem like that big of an upgrade. Nice to have, all the same. Yeah, just overall, what the hell is going on with you, Serbs? Also, I do find it hilarious that they're continually changing things through this game series. Game. RPG -E inventory management. Then they took that away and just gave you guns, and now there's a weight limit to guns. Or not really limit, but there's consequences if you take too heavy a gun. Well, t too heavy guns. We haven't ran into the hacker lady, though. Oh, hey, elusive bitch. What's your plan in all this? Shepherd. Elusive man. So this is your plan. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? Convenient you that want? you're only coming now when we're making use of it. What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. You can't do that. Imagine how strong humanity is. Because we're following the path of the Reapers. Them. You're wasting time. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector Base proved that. Even if I gave you the Collector Base, that you'd still be doing this. Abomination. Hundreds of thousands of humans were murdered there. And you would have killed thousands this isn't more. Fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. Help me, then. Work with me. Give me control of your resources, and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most, but the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them. Use We're their using power, their technology. Their essence, they laid the path. They're not going to give us a path to controlling them. They're too smart for that. You're deluded. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard, and I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose, and despite our differences, you were relatively successful. The fuck are you? But like the rest of the rebels in this place... You I'm gonna have to kill your personal Shepard. <laughs> Enough talk. Liara. 
Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. It's James. Or the bitch. Hey, step away from the console. Shooter. Now. Let me guess. A Miranda styled genetic clone monster. She has super regeneration shields. Come on, I'm holding space. There she is. Stay on her. She's getting away. Because the sprinting is still kind of ass in this game. Watch out. Over there. I hate your super regeneration shields, lady. Again, I pressed the fucking thing. Uh, so the game basically cheats. Down there. James, you read me? Okay, she's super sped up. Experience. Lol. Ram into her. I got this one. Good job, James. My helmet off. That's bad. My helmet is not off. It just kind of looked like it from a distance. Good job, James. Normandy's on route. They'll be here soon. We should be checking up on the crazy lady. With the data. Because she's going to terminate her. This shit. Oh, she is a terminator. Why are you familiar? Like... Maybe this is just a stereotypical sci-fi design. Let him go. Orders? Dispose. The moment she turned, you should have shot. Caden better not be dead. I did not save it. Or maybe this is their, hmm, we don't want to deal with, like, keeping people alive details. Caden. Caden can't be dead. Caden cannot be dead. That would be just such a waste. The choice from Vermeer does not die this early into the game. But I knew that she didn't wear a mask when she depressurized everything and knew that was weird. She's a robot.
chase down an assassin. I still find it hilarious. I got one freaking experience point. <laughs> Lol. Just flop the metal monster down. He can't be dead. Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. But yeah, no way Caden's dead. That'd be so dumb. They changed Edie, the comm room. Can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive myth. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Maybe. Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was We're it worth still the effort? decrypting it and Preliminary stuff. Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? What's it do? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. It's send me the data. We'll do our it's entirely analysis. possible that it's leaning right, into the Reaper's the hands. They want a big weapon. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Andy. Talk to the Council. Show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. Surely, touch soon. they'll want to Back help. But God, I would want to snark at the Council. Commander, Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. I wonder where Chakwas is. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Lots worse. Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. Considering that we're at war with the Reapers now, I can only I feel like there's going to be, this weapon could be the answer a timer of some kind. It. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. Yeah, it's hard to believe. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our one options? weapon based on you know we can't win this conventionally. a divergent of Reaper technology. Commander? Isn't it worth trying at least? I'm of course it is. Caden and James. Come on, let me see. Of Make course sure it is. We're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll They're be a bunch hell of a short war if they don't. <laughs> They're kind of assholes. I've yet to be able to walk around my ship. And I've been on my ship. We're probably going to be thrown into the citadel before I can do anything. And then they'll just throw me into the deep end. Here are these missions. War effort here. Do things. Get assets to make the world great again. And they're playing the same music again. I recognize this music. They damn well better be on my side. After everything I've been through, everything I've done for them, God six, I saved their lives. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial? Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with. We have we to present to our findings. Council. Right. Are we just gonna jump right to the council meeting? Looks like they might be coming to see you. 
Commander Shepard. Bailey! Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Neat, Commander. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. That's a good idea. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Better not, James. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. I'll be right Is Commander there. Bailey gonna be a guest party member? The other half of my job. <laughs> I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. Oh. All right. Import care. Oh, did it said thing and then I missed it because it was throwing so many things at me. Don't fucking do that game. That's dumb. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll probably jump back around, look at things, then head to some places. Alliance funding. Shepard escape. Is it the crazy lady who you have the opportunity to punch? What's or are you new? Here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. How so? I suppose you wanted an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can huh. you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Let's do a trial run. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. Interesting. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy, my paladin and I. War asset acquired. Diana Allers. I get veto power. Interesting to actually see the keepers walking around. Oh, hey. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. Local features. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D-24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the system's alliance ship, Normandy. You wouldn't say. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. Waiting area. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrivals. It is located next to security processing. Routine verifications. What's with the heightened security? The war. New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing at the security stations in each docking area. 
Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the Serta Foundation. I don't think the Serta Foundation is on my shit list, at least. Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. Other Citadel areas. Any other important areas I should know about? God, imagine jumping into Mass Effect 3 without any of the other games. That would be a trip and probably bad. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representatives, please go to Citadel embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Thank you. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Kick the hologram through the window. But yeah, overall, uh, I'm gonna be so scared about things. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. I don't like the future that knows my name when I walk into an elevator. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. I wonder where Morden is, and Grunt. I wonder where everyone is. Welcome to Serta. Metagel capacity. <laughs> Whiskey. Uh, the perfect users. gift. Oh no. Include deposit. Please recycle. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Smooth and smoky. Hint of hint. Is one isn't one of the Earth's top selling of beverage experts for nothing. Known for having both. Shut up. To the needs of all I have thirty-five thousand. I'm gonna grab a metagel. Should I grab metagel upgrade? Might as well for just in case. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all. And just going on and on, yab yab yab. Shut up. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Huerta. The human specialist medical officer in charge is Doctor Michel. Also, please note that specialists for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. Hmm. Hospital name. Where did the hospital get its name? It is named after President Christopher Huerta of Earth's United North American States. The donor who requested the tribute expressed the desire to remain anonymous. Huh. Any species. You can really cover treatment for any kind of species here? Huerta Memorial surpasses all requirements needed for any multi-species medical facility. Even quarians? This facility's attendant levels can also replicate the living conditions needed to accommodate other, more exotic species. Huh. Aquatic environments, for example, are available on short notice. Hospital staff. What about the medical staff? How do they deal with so many species? Magic. All personnel are required to undergo mandatory and regular psychological evaluations, as well as refresher courses. Hospital administration understands how difficult it can be for staff to deal with such a wide variety of patients. It is imperative they be offered the support needed to retain their current high standards. Hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you. Please speak with me again if you recall. What's going on? Here's Shepard now. Oh, Chocolates. Chocolates. You're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards. Coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run in with the Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Alenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Hmm. What have you been up to? I was like, where do you belong? It says, you belong on the Normandy, and you or sh work in the labs. That's a big choice. I wish I saved before this. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. <laughs> so you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collective. Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Hmm. Work in the labs. I wish I could ask her opinion. C 
because having her on board hasn't really done anything in the past games all that much, really. But again, the way they put things, that seems renegade. You belong on the Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. Welcome aboard. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Well, at least it seems it's what you want. Don't Yay. thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. <laughs> and I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. I got reputation. Neat. Uh. What? No. Someplace unsecured where I can have a gun. She doesn't seem good. Dr. Michelle, I stole your, uh, a, a good, uh, doctor from you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that. Oh, yeah, her! Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Well, technically, that was Rex. I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. Is he okay? How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just hmm. under oil. Refugees. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Supplies. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. And staff. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support Probably staff. 11 now. It can be overwhelming. I stole Quite away Chocolas. My days in the wards. Thank you. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Yeah, because in the end, things are gonna get bad. I am commander. I invade this place. I don't know why. I just can. Okay, good. I don't have the option to take their head in jail. I'd be so conflicted. Experience! Well, actually, no, because uh, I uh, got an upgrade. Ah, oh, damn it. I just heard dis disgraced Commander Shepard and then everything went silent. Damn you. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Medigel correctly, but he has been told that the has been on the ground near the ice. Move your legs below the knee, I, poor dude. I would comment on your hey, Caden. marvelous tatas, but that would be inappropriate when you're unconscious. Don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna <laughs> take my chances. Get better. We need you. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. The doctor is listening. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. Fight and live, dude. Is that just a weird graphic glitch or is there something on his leg? And that's an order.
And I'm not going to waste money on getting... I swear, if whiskey becomes an important thing that you need, I will be annoyed. Like, I'm fighting a Batarian warlord who's just like, You know, I could really go for some whiskey. Which wouldn't really make sense because Batarians hate humans and want to bar like all human stuff. Hello, Commander Shepard. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osova. Yeah. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. I don't think I will. Spectre Requisitions. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? The Spectre Requisitions District Office is down the hallway to They've moved things around. No I wonder if I can blame the keepers. Are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. Local features. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force. The entire Batarian hegemony is gone. LOL. All right, so do not go right when I go down there. The entire hegemony is gone. Please tell the primacy that the bold protectorate wishes to assist with the alliance project. We have spoken. The incursions by enemy forces are being avoided. Strike abyssal Prothean obelisk. What? Where did I get that? A very oh. It needs a Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him. Okay, so that's a mission I can do. Yay. I want in. I wonder where Garrus is now. And Tally. And Legion. That would probably be an interesting note. Oh yeah, by the way, the Geth aren't all evil. Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. Your son is dead. Go away. Oh. I told you about his mission and nonsense. I just thought out the paper. Oh, sh that's sad. Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> A lady who's so distraught that she can't accept that her son is dead. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Hey, bitch, it's me. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. How about granted Fine. an audience with Commander Shepard? Oh no. Okay, good. Commander Shepard? Commander <laughs> Humanity has questions. It took her a no moment Damn to notice me. Press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Hmm. Why take the job? If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? Or did it get forced on you? I say no to Counselor Udina. <laughs> well, maybe you would, but I gotta <laughs> live here. <laughs> gotta I live know, here. squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. Hate political BS. Bear with it. Use your power for greatness. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> He's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I like how telling him to bear with it is a paragon option. Deal with it politely. 
Oh, yeah, she sure is camping out here. Let's see. Want to go left. Damn right. Spectre Requisition, Spectre Terminal. Welcome! Quarian Fleet Intel. <sighs> I am worried. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance. Any operative requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial. <sighs> Quarian Pilgrim... Jinvalinar Nima, yeah, Nima, on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Jinvalin purchased tech, including high end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters from several, yeah, ship service centers. On Ilium, another Quarian pilgrim, unidentified, was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests that the Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. They're gonna fucking attack legions, people! Fuck! Uh, this could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests that the Quarians may instead be preparing for conflict with the Geth. Why? The Geth... Bah, oh, shit. Yeah, that's a lot of money. The Alliance wanted to reduce the reload time of the original Widow Rifle without sacrificing its stopping power. The solution was to increase the number of shots the gun could fire before it needed a, a fresh thermal clip. Heavy for a sniper rifle, the Black Widow's super fire power more than compensates for its encumbrance. So, more ammo and stuff, but I need to save a lot of money. A lot of fucking money. But yeah, that's bad. They're going to war after all! Oh, enter the shooting range so you can practice out guns. Neat. I'm making just... But yeah, that's bad. That's just very bad. Then I have one shotgun, one submachine gun, and only one sniper. Can I modify? Sniper rifle extended barrel. Let's see, lengthens barrel crane greater bullet impact, increases damage by 50. Excuse me, percent. Increases damage by 5% and speed per speeds perception by 25%, enhancing aim for a brief time. I might just go that. Biometric and biometric sensors and auto targeting software adjust to the user's pulse and breath rate, assisting in aim. All right, I can have two. Sure. Booyah! Modify a weapon, and I can't modify any of this right now. Look it out. Works for me. Hell yeah. Don't know why I have to get into armor for that. But I really need to get money. Money, money, money. And I need to save money. Because I need better weapons, I need better armor, and I'll need to buy assets, probably. I'll need all the money in the world to bribe everyone. Everyone. Satan, I'll need to bribe him. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. By my reports. Shepard reports. Spectre reports. reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. the Reapers. Dipshits. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. So this council is a farce and not worth time. To help Earth, 
our own world will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? If we stand I don't together... you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? A weapon. We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? Great destruction, so at least. The scale is... It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hag. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? Because it was still it was being made. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I believe in trying. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. Interesting we that Adina is together. the... Now more than ever. I guess acting counselor right now. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. We must stand together. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. We must bomb the Citadel. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Yep. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They've They're been blind since day one. For themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primark Vidorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. I don't see how that helps me. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <clears throat> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. Well, at least he extended an olive branch there a bit. There is one other thing. Ah, uh, great. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Yeah, at least I have Spectre, Spectre well, resources. That went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. And nice to see that Udina... is like... <laughs> he also eventually came around to... God damn it, the council is a bunch of jackasses. He knows my pain. It took him be finally being ambassador. The council. You saved their lives. And for what? Indeed. Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't Thousands of humans them, died to save later, them and they can't even extend the same olive branch. On a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. 
help the humans help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the... Another thing you could probably say might be like, Hey, if you help the humans, we'll be able to fight longer and hold them off from getting to your home worlds. Earth. Any news from Earth? That is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites in the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. Council leverage. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans. And there's a need there. Political situation. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power Shastri. than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. I'm not going to say get some results, because that seems very renegade. Personal Did situation. You know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course. But the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. Well, good day. I should go. I'll be here. Reaper variants, Reaper capabilities. I'll let all that play out, see if there's anything interesting in there. But yeah, just... J -j -j Jesus, everything bad. Make a new save, because I'm scared. I'll quickly gra glance around everything again. This is the... I don't have money, so I can't buy anything. Anything new? I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Hmm, the war. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. The Citadel itself. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Trouble? Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. Family. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. And finally, if you're promoted... It was who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, um, I was forced to kill him. Yeesh. Udina rewarded me. Was Palin the anti-human Near as I can tell, Turian? being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. Good luck, then. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Wonder where everybody else is. Like, 
how Tachanka is doing. Oh. oh, hey. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. And my question is, what the fuck are you doing here? Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Aljalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect? I can punch her. I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? Anderson's back How can on you Earth. Stand here while our families die. What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm going to stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> so I basically turn her crazy we energy always seen eye to eye. <laughs> towards but the I'm Council. Glad you're on our side. That is kind of funny. I basically just turn her psycho energy <laughs> towards the council. Oh, hey, Jams. How are you, Jams? Hey, Commander. Liara told me the council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. Not your kind of place? I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Hope it don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. It is hard to believe. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth is some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But... You also want to help? You were right. Do other things? So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. It just sounds like so typical American than random pendejo and loco. Maybe I'll do that. I got my reputation. I wonder if, like, I just need to level up my reputation and then, like, there's excess paragon points that will just, like, level up with me. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. I don't think I... I'll just go back to the Normandy. Because I don't think there's anything super important. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Now arriving in hell. Interesting. Well. Off we go. Return to the Normanda. Trees? Why trees? This looks like a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Am I gonna have to shoot my nightmares? It's playing that song again. I'm gonna have to shoot my nightmares. What fun. Shoot the kid. He is a false specter. Only I am the real specter. I guess we're gonna head towards the kid. This kid's gonna haunt me throughout the entire game, isn't he? Are we gonna have to shoot children husks? That would be horrifying. Come back, kid. Okay, you just disappeared. Oh, nope, never mind. 
he he did disappear. He teleported. Demon, he's evil. Punt the child. He does not exist. He's gonna get nuked. No, he's just gonna be caught on fire. He's not gonna get nuked. Oh no, it's Elijah Wood! That's even more terrifying. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I've been better. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Small boy, he died. Everyone back on Earth when the Reapers hit. I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. It looks like my ship collection came through Don't at least. Don't blame yourself, Commander. I wonder if my, my hamster, my space hamster... Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. Just having a conversation. Just leaving. We are not that close. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R and D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Did you get rid of all my upgrades? I hate you. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. It's okay. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. We had one before, fact, but I guess we got rid of that Admiral because Anderson it was tied to intended to use the, the dude. Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. But yeah, we used to have me, quantum entanglement to the elusive man. We probably severed that. Retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Ah, <laughs> got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Not virtual, Edie's AI. AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> I knew Joker was lying. You're gonna Just fit right in. that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those <laughs> times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. Yep, normal. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. N normal. That's new. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Good, they Speaking didn't get rid of, which, of my special anti-collector like armor. At the VidCon. Can I actually walk around my ship now? It would be nice if I could walk around my ship now. God damn it. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the council. Sounds like they're running scared. I understand their concerns. It's still annoying. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? Earn favor. I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. <laughs> this is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. 
Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. And Earth? What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular... It's a real War of the Worlds progress. down there on Earth right now. I can finally walk around my own goddamn base. Intel Armor Mod Kit. I wonder what room this used to be. I can even look. This used to be the armory. They cut out a whole thing. Huh. That would have taken a lot of work. Weirdos. War terminal. War assets. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets perform in the final battle. So, I have, uh... Diana. She gives five. Alliance Normandy. Mineral resources. Uncovered significant element deposits while scanning planets of the Normandy SR2. When the Alliance dry docked the Normandy, they seized all recovered elements. This material surplus is gone. Uh, and then, updated. Her sincerity touched extranet viewers and donations for war relief efforts are pouring in, both from the Alliance and its alien allies. Neat. That looks like Eclipse. That looks like Eclipse. I thought those were decimated. <laughs> yeah, we do not have much. We do not have much overall. Mod Alliance Shuttle. Model Alliance Shuttle. Oh. There wasn't even anything there. Weird. Oh, this used to be the old place, and then they cut right through, I guess. Weird. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Kira. If Thestia was lost and Earth hasn't been touched yet, you can Ow. be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Commander, okay, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. All right. All right, all right. Just... I'm getting overwhelmed by everything. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. You're my new Just secretary. see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. I could have helped. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Stop. This feels oh, like romance it, material. No trouble, Stop. Commander. I'm sure Give me middle options. Time. Damn you! Can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses tiny Mass Effect fields to break Lol. the plaque and massage the gums. It costs six thousand credits. Okay. Yeah. You're <laughs> on your own with that. In any event, <laughs> I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? Hmm. Joining the military. How'd you end up in the military anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service hmm. as well. Reaction I'm to war. I'm surprised worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems Again, right now. Again, thinking about oh, you control. Believe me. What you can Seeing control the thing. on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, 
and it's worth it. Your lab job. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. All right, goodbye. Carry on, specialist. Review messages sent to me. Special Ops, Stephen Hackett, Shepard. Alliance forces are stretched thin across the galaxy. We need your specific towns for a series of ops. These missions will help open doors of the Alliance in orders in places we can't touch through conventional means. We'll deploy operatives to hold point after you've completed your objectives. I need you to head to a Cerberus lab on the planet Sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound. I'm gonna fucking kill Cerberus for this. They crossed lines. Commander Shepard, this letter formally acknowledges your instant into the Alliance Navy per Admiral David Anderson's recent verbal communication. Under emergency war powers, blah blah blah, you are hereby authorized to resume control of the Normandy SR2. You are directed to begin in uh, interdiction operations against any and all enemies posing a threat to Earth, its colonies, and allies. Furthermore, you are granted diplomatic authority to establish treaties of non-human races as required. Emergency flash traffic. All lines military personnel, this is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Hackett has declared the threat condition Sabre 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Sol System. Un Earth under Reaper attack. So yeah, it's just all that. Bippity bop. It's my dog. Dear Commander Shepard, I was a contractor working on the Normandy's haptic interface when it was in dry dock. Your VI, ED, emailed me to let me know I left my dog mech on board. I'm all the way out in Terra Nova now and would hate for you to get uh, go to a million clicks out of your way to drop off my dog. Please just take care of her. She likes exploring, sniffing chemical trails, and 75 volt outlets. Oh, almost 750 volt. Oh, that's neat. And alert, new article, Quarian Fleet. Citadel, where is the Quarian Fleet? The latest intelligence shows the Reapers are taking ship, uh, system after system at a feverish pace. Members of all races are fleeing their stations, colonies, and in some cases their homeworlds. This kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar to the nomadic Quarians who were pushed off their homeworld by the synthetic Geth centuries ago. But as the galaxy pushes back against the Reapers, the Quarians are conspicuously absent. Turian and Al Alliance spokesperson cannot provide the fleet's current location. They say they have other concerns at the moment. Whatever the Quarians are up to, they want to keep secret from the Council. After a refueling stop at Ilium, the fleet left no stated destination, and there are also reports of a galaxy-wide call for all young adult Quarians to abandon their pilgrims, pilgrimages to rejoin the fleet. Greedy and short-sighted powers will always try to gain the upper hand in times of galactic crisis. We can only hope that whatever the Quarians are planning to do does not interfere with the only thing that matters, stopping the Reapers. Welcome back, Gift. While we were dry docked, Joker suggested the small welcoming gift would be appropriate to have on hand, should you be reasonated to commanding officer, as the ship does not have the capacity to accommodate the dancers he suggested. I chose something from the official systems alliance's catalog. Soldiers who have held the N7 designation for five years or more are tied to a commemorative hoodie jacket for wear of off-duty hours. <coughs> That's hilarious. You have an upgrade waiting. Dear Commander Shepard, some of the data you found allowed me to research and upgrade for you. Simply access the terminal in Dr. Tassoni's office at your convenience, and you may choose how and when to implement it. Priority mission, Eden Prime. Commander, Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime, assholes, and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretched too thin to now to attempt to, lib uh, to liberate the colony, but we've been doing what we can to covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major protein artifact. We don't... Uh, uh, my throat. But it appears to be reason for the attack on the colony. Assholes. Kind of annoying and weird. Man, they just seriously remodeled this fucking place. Seriously. Assholes. They got rid of Edie's terminal. They basically turned this back into Generation 1. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. And they were right. After years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> it's not their fault. They're doing everything they can. Did they at least validate our parking? <laughs> well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. <laughs> you know, for old time's sake. But I never did that. Don't tell me the game thinks that I did that too. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna head down. I wonder if I have infinite sprint while doing this. I'm gonna first check out my captain's cabin. They better not have messed with my shit. Oh! 
My space hamster! They stole him from me! Utter bastardness. And nope, from the looks of it, they even stole my collection. Bastards. Squad selection, Liara or James? Very interesting. Of course, you have the most so far. And it looks like they really cut down on the amount of companions for this game. Weird. My fish are gone. My Prothean artifact is gone. My helmet is gone. Bastard stole everything. There's no good music. They even stole my fucking alarm clock. They stole everything. They've stolen everything from me. <laughs> Cerberus Ajax armor. Uh, better, decent other things. Let's see. For full health boost. I'll just keep my helmet on. I'll go for some shield regeneration. Ah, uh, no, not worth it. Go for the old color. Ooh. Customizations. Lights. Neat. If you just want black light. Neat. They stole my ship collection. They stole my hamster. Bastards, the all of them. And there's the crew deck. Yeah, because... Well, let's go to the crew deck. Do I at least still have my... Oh, they haven't changed this much. This is where Samara used to be. Then again, she mostly just meditated there. She didn't really do much. Huh. Is this a wall of people who died? Thane used to be here. Would be funny if they kept my ship collection and they just spread it about this goddamn place. Kasumi used to be here. Wonder how she's doing. Will I be able to get any of my people back? Of course, they kept that the same. They even moved things around in here. Was nothing sacred to the Alliance. I wonder what Miranda's room is like. Nobody's talking. That's sad. Oh. Of course. Liara took over Miranda's room. Very shadow broker. Fitting. <laughs> even, even this it's guy. To see you again. But he knows me now. You're the drone from the shadow broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. <laughs> if you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. We are in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. 
So you're the new Morden. I wonder where Morden is. I'll inform you Jacob. If you found relevant data. When Zaid. you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. It would be nice if we at least, like, saw... ...things. No upgrades. Armor mod kit. Less than ideal. At least the Kern has persuaded his contacts to... Ship an armor mod kit to the Normandy, technically illegal, in Citadel space. Of the galaxy to save. Wow. Use mod kit to upgrade your shields. I'm flattered. I or think. ammo capacity. Hmm. I'm gonna go ammo capacity. None. With the council didn't go too well, huh? This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Cliff reminded me to clean up these old notes. Perhaps revealing them will lead to something useful. So just years and years and years and years of notes. It's showing to know that there are Protheans... Uh, that there are the Protheans husks. At least nothing sentient could possibly remain after the Reapers did to them. Attachment paper on Prothean biology. I made contact of Tazik yesterday. The look on his face is priceless. He's not happy he puts me... Uh, you put me in charge of scouting the terminus systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. The black market's unreliable, and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. The Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of, cru of crucible materials for long if things get worse. Some of the other operatives think that we should cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them, when do the odds ever stop the broker? Farron. P.F.S. I hope you finally got your little friend drone to stop saying shadow and broker out loud in the same sentence to anyone in sight. I should have saved, because the game's Looks probably like going to be like, You're romancing her! It's like, no! A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Hmm. Did the Protheans finish it? We, uh, we have that. They're missing the catalyst. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Agreed. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Hmm. I appreciate you asking. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Good to have you. So long as the game doesn't Please just enjoy your day. Freaking throw the romance at me. As I'm going to be in terminal fear of. Did it with Jack? Did it with Liara in the first game? It'd be kind of weird if it was just like I turned it down in the first game, and then third game she's like, I'm back, bitches. Ah, uh, this is where. Garrus used to be. I hope Garrus returns. Would be kind of weird if he didn't. Also hope Tally returns. Would also would be weird if she didn't. Especially because she is my girl. Wait, I need to go to the med bay. Legion will be simple. We just need to find a, a good geth. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Huh. <laughs> well, better safe than sorry. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. <laughs> That's it. The other picture of health. Any medical supplies How's you need? inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Cerberus. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. 
If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took <laughs> their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. Good. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. I wonder how many companions we're gonna have this time. Reassign power bonuses. Uh, conversations with your companions unlock bonus powers. Ah. Reassign powers. Reset Shepard's powers, Leah's powers, and it's no cost. Neat. But kind of implies that it was. Oh. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did it have to be laid out like that? And of course, the synthetic went when uh, where Legion used to be. We had just seen a humanoid shape lying there. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? When a Ravager sack breaks, hmm, Ravagers have sacks. And they can break. This used to be the. Oh, hey! <laughs> Amusing. This also used to be the trash. <laughs> this used to be the trash compactor room. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one the first gets two. my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Get us support. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air restored. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elkor cry. That doesn't seem possible. I got two Paragon and two Diddly D. I'm gonna save and talk again, see if there's anything else. Commander. Nope, good. Let's see. Doesn't look like we can go to Grunt's room. Oh hey, there's the canine. Neat. Weird that we can't go into Grunt's room. I swear if Jack oh. I'll miss you guys. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Oh it's, is it engineer the, Adams. Yeah, the first what engineer? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofit. My experience on the Normandy SR yeah, the first, the first choice. engineer from the first so what game. Do you think of our SR2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. But so? so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why did you refuse? Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Fair enough, considering also, what's as happening. As an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? But overall, you don't need to apologize. You're Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Glad to have you. Hmm. How do you feel what about you Edie? Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a VI to keep the likes of you from unplugging. <laughs> the likes of you. <laughs> yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. <laughs> never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. I have no idea how you can go about doing that. Her, and in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Yay. Normandy itself. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. 
The SR2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Yeah. <laughs> Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means... We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every Neat. sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. And finally, any family? Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Huzzah. Carry on. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Would be hilarious if I just went down underground and found Jack still sitting there. They tried to kick me out. They failed. They moved her shit. What? It's a movie, little bastard. What? What's down here? Moo! My space hamster's down here! My space hamster's down here! I got my space hamster back. <laughs> I just put the two and two together. It was just like, all my ships are down here. Why are all my ships down here? Moving across, scuttling across the floor. What the fuck? Lieutenant Cortez. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. At ease there, soldier. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. Fair enough. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. Neat. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. Quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M44 Hammerhead. Yay, Hammerhead's still here. In my experience, here. it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Ground vehicle. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plate. Yep. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Damn. Yeah. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT 47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. Nice. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Armory. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like Neat. the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Carry on. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Weapon upgrades. Improved weapon damage and ammo capacity. Hmm, we'll need to see what's better. 
but that definitely. Oh no. Oh no, it's tempting me. Let's see. Avenger, oh yeah. Minorly better in a lot of ways, but heavier. And less fire rate and capacity. No weapon mods available. Certa supplies by Metagel. Metagel. Just the. So there's a 100th thing. Yeah, 10% markup. Remote Citadel access. Hmm. Spectre requisitions. I'll have to go there myself, see if we can do anything. Hey there. Hey there. I'm scared to talk to anybody. Because the game might be like, oh, you're romancing. Considering that there was a need for an entire freaking mod. Which is like, to tell the game, don't do that. When there's a mod that is required, uh, it makes me scared. Baby. Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? Decent enough. Not as good as Same we could as hope. Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> Basically. Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Paladin. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> Thought I'd come say hi. Just came down to talk. Get to know people. <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. I don't. It's probably in the codex. I don't, actually. I didn't uh -huh. have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Too much working out. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Okay. I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> I could have <coughs> sucker punched him. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. Ah, renegade boy. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You shrink too? A little bit. Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> I think that's the first time I've heard the, the word maybe fuck in this game. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Loco. <laughs> Loco. I like it. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. Lol. As long as you remember who's in charge. 
You can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. Interesting. Fortification unlocked, because I talked to him. Alrighty then. I'm gonna check up my beautiful collection. There's still a few missing. And my, my hamster boy, your back. Squeak and tea, small man. Nothing new. I'll probably hit up. Diddly D. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Clusters are already conquered by Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and viable intel. Interesting. There's one all over here. Cerberus Lab. Okay. First things first, I want to hit up... Let's see if I can actually buy things locally. Because I couldn't find the gun shop. Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system, you are in. Flee and wait until you have complicated a completed a mission before returning. Probably can't find anything here. I want to check out the shop. Just you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Mm, no thanks. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Because I want to find the, the gun shop. Or if that's only available. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Huh. One moment, please. Where's the other shop? Maybe now it's. Arriving at Presidium Embassy. Hmm. Weird. Spectre Office. Earth. One moment, please. Need to look at a proper map. Wonder if I can swap now to a different store. Welcome to Serta. Mm, nope, can't get the Be other. Safe. Hmm, annoying and disappointing. It's weird that it's like. Welcome, at least it doesn't seem like they're anywhere. I'll walk around the embassies a little bit. See if I can find the... Like... Sail terminal. Wish I could find the sail terminal. Where's the sail terminal? Extra annoying. Good morning. Oh, hello, All right, so they actually do have like the sale things on the maps, but it does not look like there are any ways to access the sale terminal for the diddly D. Just yet, which is annoying, or maybe at all. I have to pay the markup. The only thing that I don't have to pay markup now for. At docking bay D24. 
is the whiskey, which is weird and kind of funny. Very, very odd. We're gonna introduce this, like, markup system, and then not let you <laughs> go to the store. That's just weird. Well, since there's no way to go there myself, I shall check it out from here and be forced to pay the price. Tessa Fabrication. Can buy low powered scope, leaves most effective at medium range, but many soldiers believe this limitation is offset by the gun's rapid fi rate of fire. Wish I could take a look at its stats. Pistol, magazine upgrade, pistol, pistol, assault rifle, stability dampener, magazine upgrade. Spare thermal crypt. Yes. Model Alliance Kodiak. Sure. And I will get this upgrade. I'll upgrade this a little bit. Modify. Ah, wow, that's gonna be a little annoying. Because now I'll have to come here and probably choose. Do you want damage? I already upgrade the damage. Thermal clip all the way. Even though that's going. It says by 50%, but that doesn't seem like a lot, apparently. And I got a ton of things for that. Alright, take me to combat, combat situation thingy. I'll check out the thing back here. Commander. And no, this wasn't... They just moved the table in here. This was Morden's place. This was my goddamn science. Apparently we got an up-up. How'd it go? Or did we get an up? It does not look like we got enough. It was just like, would you like to look? Would you like to look? Nothing else. I have no idea where to go first. I guess I could always check my channel. Priority. Eden. Prime. I'm going to probably head for Eden Prime first. I just think it's a bit thematic. And then we might go after that Cerberus lab as a big fuck you. But first I'm gonna fucking save. Because I'm scared. Alright, let's see. Rescue Turian Primarch. Do I have to actually read the journal properly? That's a little annoying. Can't even click J to open up my journal. Eden Prime. But where is Eden Prime? It wasn't in the goddamn... Rescue the Turian Primarch. Recover Prothean Artifact. Nothing. Nothing. Cerberus Lab. Where? Hopefully we won't have... Hopefully we'll have to jump from system to system. Where the fuck is Eden Prime? The game's not telling me, and that's bullshit. I legitimately think that's bullshit and stupid. I need to be 
careful because the reapers might get interested. Oop. Well, I found it, but nothing to do about it. But nothing here. Maybe this is Eden Prime? Game speed of using. Yep, Eden Prime. Hmm, I'm gonna quickly come out, save. And we'll try out the scan feature. I found something. Ah, oh, we need to do it near planets. Got it. Start scanner. Right, they slow down the scanner. Lost and found. We found a thing. Prothean data files. All right. And we scanned all of these, but it says 50. That probably means the mission. Asgard. Oh. Where's Asgard? Frickin' far away. We'll probably need to... Signal confirmed. We need to be careful. Kinda wish I could just scan planets individually. What have we found? Remains of Reaper Destroyer. Alliance Naval Exploration Flotilla. I wish I could scan planets individually. Miss those days. I can outrun you. Surely. We have time to scan this planet. I think we're gonna be eaten the moment we leave this planet. And we've game over. Lol. Signal confirmed. That's kind of annoying. But very well. And it seems that it counts even though I got it. Kind of hilarious. Wanna just kind of scam the game of achievements? Die. So that we can make it back and buy. I don't think we're gonna make it back. We might. Hmm. 
Oh, there's no refuel over here. I want to try something. I want to get as much scanning in as possible because the game explicitly says that if you scan too much, the diddly dees are going to be like, hmm, how dare, especially in like actual Prothean space. God, that eats a lot of my... But yeah, it doesn't look like we can do anything here. Plus, they're not, like, actually... Kind of weird. You'd think you'd find something. Hmm, sadness. So it's only in Reaper space. We'll jump to Kite's Nest. And do some scanning there. And then the moment that they're like, How dare? And the Reapers start coming, we'll... Properly, and then once we like max out, uh, this is kind of min maxing ever so slightly. I found something. Kind of evil. Recover th so th that would be worthless to me. So it's on the other side of the planet down here. Why is it moving so slow? I miss the old days of scanning. Yes, 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 I know how to do this one now. Weapon upgrade kit. All right, since that caught some attention of the Reapers, Let's see what happens if we scan one more time over here. Only tip them off a little bit. Huzzah! And it looks like there is, like, an actual other place. How far away is it? A little far away. Note to self. Once again, save. I'll save down here. See if we can eke out a little bit more. Hmm, since we didn't find anything, I'm going to reload. Little bit of min-maxing here, but... This is guesswork, and the game's like, hey, find things. By the way, we're going to punish you for finding things, for trying to find things. Dang it. Maybe I can outrun him. And it actually shows the achievements in this one. Credits recovered. See you, suckers. Evasion successful. And escape a reaper in the galaxy map. Nice. All right. Hopefully there isn't any ramifications for doing this. Like, no ramifications for scanning a lot and stuff. 
So there is something there. There's something there. I want to... I want to grab it. Because it's beeping when I go over it, but it's probably just... I found something. Damn you, Reapers. Wreckage. Fuel. I'll need to be careful. And we got a lot of credits there. Nice. And that's all in this area. Yay! All assets recovered. So I can kind of just go over like certain random places and maybe find stuff. But once again, we're gonna kind of cheese this because the game's kind of mean, punishing you for looking. Signal confirmed. Jesus, they are after our butts in this area. Booyah. And I don't have to pay for probes this time. Probably because it's on Alliance. Special Ops Team Zeta. And the Marine Division. And that's all of the places here. Hmm. I'll go to Caicos. Because it's like the nearer one and I think I can make it back easier. Damn it, the planets are all spaced out. So, once again, reasons I'm save happy is because this is far more. Something. And the Reapers are like combing in like assholes. Hopefully, this is 100% of assets in this area. Credits recovered. Lots of credits. Nice. 50%. I think we'll be able to get two planets in one, and again, be able to evade, potentially. And in the future... Reapers eluded. Wait, why do they have to move the buttons all around? Hopefully there isn't any ramifications for calling Reapers to places. Oh, these boys are fast. Reapers eluded. Are they still here? I just, light jump successful. But I just want to find what secrets you hide. Maybe it's a mission. Maybe you need to do a mission here and that'll be the other one. The other 50%. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna assume this is a comeback when you actually, like, have a mission. I need to be careful, though. Yeah, Kite's Nest, Exodus Cluster... 
We'll tr look around the Apian Cluster a little bit. Because once we do a mission, all the Reapers will bugger off. Which works for me. Considering this is Reaper-esque territory... Perhaps... We'll find things, or else we'll just draw Reapers to us. Alright, this place is safe. And since we found a... But at the same time, there's a secondary... There's like a secondary loop do Down there, like... Orbital ring thing. Hopefully I'm not wasting all my money on... Diddly D. Signal confirmed. And basically refunded my fuel. Oh, so that's the other planet. Okay. Well, I think it can... I'm not going to escape these, are I? I'm not going to get to escape them. They're going to eat me. Because I'm not going to escape in time. Journal update. Citadel Banner of the First Regiment. Banner of the First Regiment. Artifact. That's not what I wanted to do, game. The game was mean, it didn't let me do things. I hate that. Okay, yeah. That's just refueling. Signal confirmed. Baby bop. Grab refueling, and we run. Since this is the only other place, I want to go ahead and get this marked out as possible as well. If at all possible. I am blinded. I don't think there's much point to this place. I found something. Jesus. Multiple somethings. bunch of fuel that I don't need. I probably shouldn't have taken that. Alright. New plan, because I think I saved. New plan. Okay, double new plan. We're going to reload. Because that's a lot of frickin' I don't know. So I, what? Let's see if we can make it. Booyah! That'll make it worth it. Signal confirmed. We're gonna take the big one. And then we'll leave the other one as a potential thingy thingy. Like if we ever need to, we can come back and get the the cargo. That way we don't have to spend money, too much money on fuel. I found something. 
the Reapers are mean, and they need to get out of my scanners. What did my scanners ever do to them? Go ahead and grab a bit more fuel. And get the hell out. This, I wonder, this is probably a very inefficient way of doing things. Kind of nice that we don't have to worry about bringing Reapers to a story mission. And this one's because there's a fucking lot of clusters there. Or is it that one? Either way, we're going to try things out over here as well. Once again, risk bringing Reapers into systems because then we can do a mission and reset them away. Going to quickly save just in case we can accidentally bring Reapers to a relay. I don't think we can. Signal confirmed. We can. Oh no. We can bring Reapers to a relay if we're not careful. Javelin missile launchers. Alright, since this is a 50-50, once again, save scumming ever so slightly because I don't trust the game. Well, this point, just scan all planets. Damn you. I don't know where the... Um, it's another mission one. My bad. Reapers I get it now. It. This one's another... Oh, do a mission in this area to get thing. More than likely, considering I scanned Hibbledy Jibbledy and didn't find anything. Unless it's up here. Because I scanned that system as well. So yeah, more than likely, this is another... I'll risk it. We should be able to get back and then do Eden Prime. I found something. Oh, multiple things. Maybe we could do the Cerebrus, Cerebrus, Cerberus Lab. I don't know. I just feel like it would be good to do Eden first as our big middle finger to the. Bibbidi bop. 300 units of fuel. So yeah, we will be back. This is very improper use of fuel, I know. Well, we're gonna go and we're gonna save Eden Prime. Preliminary scans and stuff. Well, first things first, I want to check out my war assets first. Then we'll save Eden Prime. Hopefully all these, like, fleets and stuff have added a decent amount yeah, I'd say we got decent. Complete the crucible device will require more things. Ah, Prothean data files. Turian. Alright, we got a decent chunk of stuff. And I'll probably want to check with my combat correspondent in between yeah. missions. And maybe talk to my people between missions, but they make that scary because you just freaking talk to people and the game's like you're romancing them. It's just like, no, I'm being a good person. 
and being nice. Do you think being nice requires motive? Once again, probably just Eden Prime. Never mind. Now that we found that, I'm gonna save because it's probably just fuel. Probably just fuel. 200 units of fuel. We'll keep it because we were low anyway. This idyllic Gurian world, yes, 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 uh, lots of stuff. Land, we're gonna beat him up. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Confirm squad selection. I will take Blaze Submachine Gun. Put me overweight, it will. Then we will not take it. What about everyone else? Allows the bullets to pierce objects. Confirm. Go ahead and have. And from the looks of things, they don't have to worry about stuff like that. Like I said, they don't have to worry about stuff like that. Don't really think you need to worry about that. So I guess you just have the one upgrade and can be used by everyone. Neat. Confirm. I am almost to another level. I shall keep everything the way it is. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Yep. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Yep. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. I remember Eden Prime. Seems like more than just three years ago. How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a Geth drone. Reports that Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. He tried. He failed. Not on my watch. Damn straight, loco. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere. And they're gonna the colony, suffer for this. They killed everyone near the dig site. These people have it rough. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Because we have super stuff technologies. No sign of survivors. Come. I'm gonna go ahead and see. When we need to find the dig site. Oh, I got 16 shots. Hell yeah. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. But they'll be stronger for it. Hopefully. I'm still stealing credits. Level up time. Level up, level up, level up, level up. Ooh, this is exactly what I need. Increases melee damage, weapon damage for 20 seconds after 
kill an enemy with heavy melee. I'm just gonna increase my normal stuff. Guess I'll go ahead and upgrade that. Increases power damage or shield recharge delay. I'll give you shield recharge delay, my boy. I left a gun. Or maybe that's not a gun, but it looks like a gun. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accerted the story that they've gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. When we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died down. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. If these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara. You ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study yeah. artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Yeah. <laughs> you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. He just likes dinosaurs. Who doesn't like dinosaurs, really? I'm just scared that things are going to happen. There. That's the elevator that leads Oop. down into the dig site. All right. Let's use it then. That doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's... God. A Prothean? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans no. into? No. Normal Prothean. No. An original, unmodified... Are we gonna have a Prothean ally? Alive. That would right. be neat. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Hmm, definitely interesting. <laughs> Be freaking hilarious. I, this is just cool. Especially because the Protheans kind of took a little bit of a backseat in the second game. What can you tell me about Neat. the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cipher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little... faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prize knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. I just realized. Why do they just leave a living Prothean out here in the middle of nowhere? The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Then I'm glad you're here. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. It's probably just a <sighs> random worker. Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Jerks. Heads up. Ah, I love Sniper. All right. Let's get moving before more of them come back. That's a painting. We could steal everything and blame it on Cerberus.
Troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of Colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continued standard pro uh, patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in the area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they would do serious damage. Intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. This is why I like wandering around. Finding stuff. They're rewarding me for this now. Uh, I can't even take a look. Is that civilian or served? So we need to find the pod data. I'm going to save quite spastically because I don't want to just activate the next section. I want time to properly go over. So I'll probably have a select of recent saves that I save over. <laughs> Yeah, need to activate that. Sucks to be you. like they might just continue to spawn out of there. Kind of works for me, because I want to do more looky-looing around. Dang it. I glanced away. around my allies can take care of themselves because that looks like it's the proper way I friggin assume That's it, then I'm just going to can't save, damn you. Because again, I want to explore, but I don't want to activate the next step. Which is why I liked the Mass Effect 2's hey, am I going in the uh like story direction? I assume that locked door room thing will primarily be the thing. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. Never mind, this is the way we're probably meant to go. Deadly, dang it. That's bullshit. I shoot a dude, dude should die. All right, the pod data's in there. We know what to avoid now. The more that we can spur the 
resistance here on Eden Prime, the more that we can... There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Then what about the other one? There's multiple pod datas, then. I'm going to guess that... Come on, clearly I can climb this. Damn you. Alright, I'm going to presume that the game expects me to come here, and then it's like, oh, this is only part of the data. Gonna presume that. Only part data. I hope to God, because I'm gonna go over more of that place. That's why I saved. Flashback. PTSD. Wow. Prothean PTSD. Am I gonna have a PTSD? Playable PTSD. Okay, that's four. That's their husks. That's their husks. Converted them. Better not be I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You I want more info. That? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they used to activate the Ah, that's Stasis the other one. Mode. Okay, good. I was gonna go do things anyway. Almost disappointed. I was expecting a playable section where we played as the Prothean. The game denied me my ability to play as an alien. And they're even going to do that in the in Andromeda, force you to be human. I want to be an alien, damn it. Considering that the pod data's in there. Oh wait, we've been through here a little bit. Never mind. Lots of stock dead bodies. Gotta get more money, more upgrades. And I think that'll be the entirety of this place, because we still can't look at maps of mission areas.
They too had skyscrapers. I never thought our empire would fall. It won't. <laughs> we will sleep here until the Reapers return to dark space. Then we will rise a million strong. Nope. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. What about yours? You understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Proteans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here. They're probably not happy. Damn you. I can survive that. What? I was just wondering what happened to you. I'm gonna mail slot you all. You're all fools. And you will die like fools. And I will harvest your souls. For money! Oh. Did I annoy you? Did I destroy your baby? him will he stop shooting me I have a mail slot with his face in it they've retracted the bridge we have to find another way across well obviously not that way so we have to go back I need to use dodging more come on there's a ladder right over there just go no we can't do that we're too poor don't know what the game expects me to do shibby dibby wooby bibby dee boo keep accidentally rolling We need to find another way across. Oh yeah, by that way? No, apparently. Apparently, the dumb way. Apparently the dumb way. That's how we get in. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I thought there would be a cliff down there. Where are they going to come from to try and kill us this time? Or was that all there is? Looks like it's all there was. One final safety save. Rise, child. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Looks like they're interested in my boy. Damn you. Come on. Let me shoot through your mail slot. Quit shooting me, asshole. 
quit shooting me. I want to shoot your friend. There we go. I shot your friend. You may resume shooting me. Lol. That was like the perfect singularity. Fly. You will suffer for my entertainment. I'm gonna go grab some ammo. Fool. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. I wonder which supply cache you were, or like which building you were talking about. Heavy mech, don't let it get close! Ow. Kinda dropped that on me, game. Without any way to prepare myself. Sure. you was not prepared for a mech this is why I need to use my assault rifle more They have max. There, you can open the life pod now. Feel sorry for this, Prothean. They're gonna come out and be like, I am alive, what happened? And they're just gonna see us and a bunch of dead guys. I'm like, oh god. Don't worry, I'm part Prothean. I know how to speak your scream. You got it. Not nearly as buggy. The overall is still there, but... It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Right now. You're alive. But not as you know it. <laughs> Jerk. Careful, he's confused. I'll beat him up. Gaze upon the world as you probably didn't know it. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been a few minutes. No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pawns online. Those soldiers are still alive. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. There is no coming empire. Prepare a neutron bombardment. Get, Get to your life pod now. There is no coming empire. Not for you. Surprising that 
something like that could survive neutron bombardment. Left of it, a few hundred people. How am I to rebuild an empire from that? Further adjustments may be necessary. The neutron purge compromised the facility. Clarify. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. Ah. Uh. Literally. I will be more than that. That's ominous. Please don't tell me you're a renegade Prothean. How many others? Just you. Unless you count collectors. You can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, not to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. A failure. It wasn't failure. Your Not people really. did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. I am surrounded by primitives. Not it's anymore. Not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? They're back. Yes. Then we will see. He does not understand. Either that or he's just an asshole. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I'll I try. to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. Is it his racism? It's probably the racism. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. What? Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. We can trust him. And if not, I'll kill him myself. Eddie, I don't think our guest will be a problem. I've been to Brody. Ilos. That depends on you. Fair enough. He's reading my memories. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. Yep. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. And what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. What about the, like... Like your beacons. The static, I could read that too. Yes. Reach. Also, you do not look like the statue thingies. I fought the collectors. I beat them. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? People didn't listen. It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. And nobody de would defend a vision. Then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. We killed one. And the extinction was delayed. Yeah. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? 
the weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. That looks like a Prothean Reaper, the more I look at it. Build our own Reaper. The leg things, at least. We never finished it. It was too late. You can finish it now, hopefully. You don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? Rebuild the Empire. There were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Fair enough. I'd say he's on our side. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. That's a bit extreme. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. The silence, silence will be your answer. answer. They stole that quote, I think. It's like, stand amongst the graves of warriors. Side. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No, I do not know. It contains oh. all pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. <laughs> I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. <laughs> I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Hmm. Prothean civilization. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government Empire. do you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs? Empire. The... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at the huh. the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Hmm, but before that? What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? He probably doesn't know. We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves oh. Prothean. Huh. What if they didn't want to? Exterminated. They given a choice. Sensory ability. You've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. Explains the beacons. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Your mission. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The empire had fallen. And we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, 
betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. What if it had worked? Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But there was a pause. Attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. And you were oh, right. Thank you. I think. Prothean War. Oh, what did, which one did I do? Prothean device. Is there I guess. anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Prothean War. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Impressive. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. We met Vigil on Ilos. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusano. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. None of them survived. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did you fight Reapers? How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. Harsh. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. And why did you why lose? You think your own cycle lost the war. What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Well, thank you. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. Do you know the Krogan? The Solarians. The lizard people evolved. <laughs> I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> That's amusing. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Javik. Though I still need time to recover. The shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Interesting. Let me guess, he took over... He took over Grunt's place. Ooh, particle rifle. I got guns? Hmm, I don't think there's much. I guess I could go to uh, Shuttle Bay, check things out to buy an upgrade. Can't buy anything here. Casa. I could buy the Inferno Armor. But it's all about power and I don't care. Shotguns, spare thermal clip. Stability dampener. 
Mm, don't really care then. Nah, yeah, screw it, we'll buy that. Why not? Particle rifle, improved damage. What is a particle rifle? Ah, it's this. Heavy. But packs a wallet. We paint it brown. Hmm. Yeah, it's super weighty. But I think I'm gonna try and upgrade you. And one more. See if that helps the weight. It probably won't enough, because... Ta-da! Reach weapon recharge speed, negative 58%. God damn it, that would be so nice to have. I don't really use that, so I'm going to try and recharge speed, see what happens. But that is badass, and I like it. Combat information deck. No new emails. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, we now Cerberus. She'd never know there was a war on. They'll know soon enough. All those refugees have to go somewhere. I'll quickly check, and then I think we'll end with raiding that Cerberus lab, just to kick them while we're down. That's red. Hopefully nothing bad happened. We have new Alliance stuff. Eden Prime support. Neat. Hopefully there's no way of, like, losing. Oh, wait, we need to go and talk to the lady. The lady, she, uh, we were down there, down in engineering. She took over <laughs> Zaid's place. Yeah. Kind of annoying that that exists. I don't even know the purpose. I guess it's like, we can't let anyone into our sensitive area. Ah. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Lol. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic on cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. <laughs> Lol. But yeah, I just hope that the Quarians aren't waging total war against could go to Asgard oh yeah I forgot Asgard's a fuck ton far away hmm. I shall save again and we will see if we can get over there because I forget what's over there Hopefully we'll be able to make it back. Probably won't. Reapers do not like that. If you scan a little, they go... <laughs> lose their minds. Spectre Ops team. Terra Nova. Just extracting people. Alliance Cruiser. Oh, there's still another 20%. Probably a derelict. Eluded. But I want to find that last one, Billy. 
I want to find that last one. That's what safe scumming is for. Would be extra rude if they put anti-safe scumming in. Punish you for, like, playing the game. Ah, there you are. Off there in the corner. Reapers eluded. I'm still getting used to them moving the buttons around. Damn it! I hit investigate, or at least somewhat hit investigate. I hit around it. It was like, sorry, we're going to move. Why can't I move the Normandy with the WASD? Just feels like that would be a better thing to do. Because if you want me to press on things, let me move it around in a better way. Or like hit space bar. Reapers eluded. For now. But at least we got this all done away. Yep, I think next we will come over here. Speed up the. Then again, we could try and grab, like, fuel and check out that other. Yeah, mm, brain. So let's see. Plus, we haven't really checked out. Oh, because I think Anos Bastion is just, like, a little place. have the fuel for it though Sorry. I'm so used to there being one fuel depot in each place but not here all right we need to go I think over here this should have a space station refuel that I can do then we'll jump over Luckily, it seems like it's only a few hundred credits to the gallon. Let's try and look about Hades Gamma. So more than likely, we'll only be able to make it to... That's another thing. They got rid of my fuel upgrade. Damn you. I had a fuel upgrade. It was nice, and it worked great. I had a fantastic fuel upgrade. Okay, now that we're here, we're gonna wanna really make use of our scans. That'll be like two. Our two bloody scans. Signal confirmed. Why are there so many out here? Credits recovered. All right. Well, I think I found the other thing that we're looking for. I'm going to save over Eden Prime. Two hundred units of fuel, and that's all in this section. Faster than light, jump successful. I'm going to save, and I'm going to see if I can make it to the last place that we haven't been and get back. Probably won't be able to. Because I stole my frickin' fuel upgrade. Alright. Once again, a now that we're in here save. Need to be careful not to. I found something. Probably fuel. Two hundred units of fuel. And that was fifty. 
I think we'll be able to get out of here. got the lion's frigate we need to get out of here evasion successful we can stop by and cake us all right I forget where we got the original like uh, scan in here Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Doesn't appear to be anything that we can grab just yet. Well, we'll make a we'll make a quick jump here just to see if we can go anywhere. I don't think we can. Scan about. Let's see. Yeah, this is isolated. Ah, uh, this is just a fuel depot area. Well, it saves me the time. And now we'll go shut down that Cerberus lab, and that will be it for us for now. Quite enjoyable, this place, this game. The slight improvements, like the rolling, moving cover to cover, even though I'm probably never going to make use of it properly. Forget if we like scanned all over here. I think we did, and it's just like, oh yes, it'll be like a mission planet reward. All right, we're going to save before touching down and kicking Cerberus a new asshole. We stole a Prothium from him, and we're gonna kick one of their labs in the butt. Ah, uh, we can't use him because he's still acclimatizing to the shock. I'm gonna take my super speed. I'm gonna give you the super duper. Oh, yeah. Particle rifle. Let's see. Let's upgrade your singularity. Nothing that I can do for you. Can I upgrade my disruptor? No, I need one more point for disruptor ammo. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Patch us through. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Gee, it's almost like if Cerberus was working with the Alliance in this time of hell, good things would happen. But instead, they have to be assholes. Seriously, what caused them to... Don't tell me that uh, somehow there's like a 
different kind of indoctrination that they put the elusive man under. I could see that. No, I want to act activate. That's the Reaper thing we need to grab. Maybe. I'm gonna make another save. And I'm gonna walk around a bit before we grab these. Because I don't want things to, like, jump out at us. At least not too much. Credits. That's a failed Metagel experiment. Hmm. Will only lead to Metagel advances for Hanar. Only Cerberus would call that a failure. Well, yeah, they are kind of the pro-human psychopaths of the world. All right, I feel like a like reversing course a bit. We begin at the deepest point. Or maybe it's a thing where we bypass and then we go about collecting them all. That's probably what it is. Alright. Well, that's weird looking. Guess we found it. Got the sample. Roger that. What about this one? What about the other ones? See Tel Finally here. While the troops here are really intense, no one smiles ever. And suicide on capture order? Seriously? They call training integration. I start being integrated tomorrow. Can't wait. Crazy. Again, can't grab anything else. I guess this is it. Weird. Super quick in and out. Odd that they're like these things, and it's just like, oh, you can't grab that, even though they look, look exactly like the thing that we're meant to be taking. But hey, maybe we can earn Hanar <laughs> war assets. Sniper rifle and hand scope. Nice. I miss my super duper sight. Oh. Good work. I can't just grab them all in one run. I hate that I have to continually reapply my ammo type. Cerberus, all you had to do is work with us. Now we're wrecking you. Status. Engaging multiple targets. 
Commander. Stay focused and keep at it. Cortez will survive. I'm not gonna get rid of him that easily. This is why it should be a smash and grab of everything. All these humans dying for your greed. It'd be optional go back in for more still weird that I can't carry more than one at a time could have gotten them all by now bad. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but yeah. whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Definitely. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. I got reputation and credits. We're not terribly far from the minimum. Wonder if I should super save up credits to buy uh Spectre tech, probably. Should probably also go about and talk to people, but it scares me. Citadel, Citadel, Citadel. Eden Prime resistance movement. Help the resistance movement by getting them Cerberus intel. How? Priority Palavin. Shrike Prothean Obelisk. Wonder how that one. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal and deliver it to him. I don't know how to do that. But I guess we'll go ahead and head back to the Citadel. Check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Definitely. I'll first talk to Joker. Then we'll do. Uh, well, I can't. Uh, we were gonna end, but then I got wrapped up because that was so fast. That was so fast. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean, as we are stopped down. Damn it! I want to go and do things, but at the same time I want to listen. Damn you! All right, we'll go talk to everyone, and then probably we'll do bottom up. So he lost his love or brother. Maybe both. I'm coming to get you. Don't you dare. They're everywhere. You just get taken too. I can't just sit here doing nothing. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. 
Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. <laughs> you watched him get taken? We were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Remember that he cared. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt this alone as I do right now. This is probably the flirt option. I don't want to be... I have half a mind, half a frickin' mind to just cut this conversation now and do the frickin' optional flirt mod because You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime don't you Don't you dare go down the flirt path, dude. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry. I'm scared. <laughs> when I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. Every single time I say something I mildly fly. nice, I'm it's like the BioWare is probably hard. making you me know. fucking flirt. Every single time, it's just like, they're probably making me flirt. Hey again. What's up? Hmm. Previous mission. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar, and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Meh. <laughs> Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Cortez. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Weapon upgrade. I want to save my credits to try and buy... Like, be better stuff. Gonna go talk to the Prothean, see if he has anything to say. I'm sorry to trouble you again so soon, but surely you must know something about the device. Anything he would help. probably doesn't. It was supposed to be our miracle, but we were fragmented by that point. Communication had been severed. We put no faith in it. All we could trust were the weapons in our hands. And you really know nothing about the Catalyst? I already told you, Asari. No. I'm sorry. It's just so much depends on this. I know that. More than you do. Now please, let me be. I'm still recovering. Of course. I apologize. Oh, and then I need to go to Liara's place. I require more time for the stasis to wear off. Ah, fuck it up. Now we'll head to... Oh, we should talk to dude. See if he has anything to say. Commander. Nope, nothing to say. Well, we're gonna head to Liara's room. Not really to talk to her, because the game is just like, you talked to her once, obviously you want to bang her. And it's just like, no, I am waiting for the love of my life, Tally, to come back Dr. into the Tosoli picture. found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Weapon upgrade kit time. And remains of Reaper. Ammo capacity or weapon damage. Ammo capacity for life. More of uh, more ammo means more damage. Remains of a Reaper. To avoid risk of indoctrination, remote drones have been sent to study the salvage remains of a Reaper destroyer. The drones can dig under the outer hull, scanning circuits for technology that will increase the speed at which tech, biotic, and combat abilities can be fired. Alternatively, the Council has offered a Citadel-wide merchant discount for choosing the safer option and demolishing the remains. A 5% discount. 
but it's citadel wide. Sure. Upgrades, ammo capacity, store discount bonus, and ammo capacity. Oh, that's just all the upgrades that I have. Prothean notes, Prothean notes. Nice to have a broker, the shadow broker. Hmm, I guess I could always end things off and go to the Citadel, turn in quests and stuff, because I doubt things are actually going to happen. But at the same time... Hmm. But at the same time... We'll probably get something to, like, return to the Citadel once we do Pavilion. But... Found you. And now this place is 100%. Yay. Screw it, let's go do this mission and end off in the Citadel. Why not? Why not? Alright, we're gonna save. Just in case. Full of fear. Fear everything. As I save money to buy things from the Reaper Shop. Not Reaper Shop, the Spectre Shop. Reaper, Spectre, all these things. I don't have any others. And we still only have that, but I guess it doesn't hurt to put on. Because... Yeah, screw it. Maybe it'll actually help them. Oh no, they steal from me. Bastards. Oh no, no they don't. I'm dumb. I am. We, the dumb dumb. I am the dumb lord. Sovereign annihilated so many. Oh, yeah. Nope. That one's just gonna nom nom on you. It's not afraid. people on the moon there's explosions or something oh no no palavan yep we have an old friend there holy hell garris they're getting decimated probably the strongest military in the galaxy and the reapers are obliterating it was it like this on earth Ish. Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. We're gonna shoot. Or we're just gonna jump. It is the moon. Let's see. 
Up to clear the landing zone. But now I want to look around. That Reaper is enormous. It's our bigger ones on Earth. A whole lot of them. Goddess. Great, now I want to look around for potential things. Nope, doesn't look like there's potential things over here. Wonder if Garrus will be protecting Pavilon. Or not protecting Pavilon, but the the Primarch that we're here to save. Hold your fire, friendly inbound. Damn right, friendly. And if worse comes to worse, we can end mid. Uh, end mid. Ground report. Knowledge of the terrain is our only advantage here, and that's not going to last forever if they keep throwing their forces at us. We'll hold this area as long as we can. I'm linking the transponder to the life signal monitor system of the unit suits. If it goes out, send another out ASAP. Let's see. Less weight, more capacity, more fire rate, but tons of less damage. Nice to have another one, though. Shocked that the Reapers haven't just nuked this place from orbit. Waiting for your Tabastic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. To get him out of here. He's dead. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. Hmm. How are things here on Minia? How bad is it, General? Minet. We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. Now it's a front. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. Sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. That was a weird flicker so of texture. Now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. But we need to get However, that get tower moment, up and running. Contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Passes it's going to be Garrus, which means he's not going to be. I swear, it's probably going to be Garrus, Don't and he's not going to be a companion. Tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. It's either going to be right, somebody we don't go. know, or it's going to be Garrus. I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! That's like the only things that can happen. I'm gonna gather as much stuff as I can, because they're just setting all of this out. Nice, nice of them just set it all out, though. Command Hexnar, supplies. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gear's filtering units instead. At least, it'll be nice not to have to, those clogging up anymore. And I'm getting a lot of armor and stuff. All right. Yes, sir. We're 
Heading out. Cover home base. Need luck. For I am beyond luck. Fire! Husks are definitely scary. Now. Never mind. I can... Ah, do they all have the explosion thing now? there just yet. Doesn't seem like there's anything to grab. We can't repair it from this panel. The one up top. Huh. Liara, repair the tower. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can put this on too. Here they come. Ready, James? Let's take him. Damn you, you were dodging and weaving. How the hell they can do that is Commander beyond Shepard, me. Come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palavan Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. Kind of surprised they don't just drop in husks from orbit into the camp. Save. How goes the war effort? What have you got? They took off my mask. As your Why? partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. Let me guess. I am now the Primarch. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus, my boy. Garrus. You son of Vicarian, a bitch. Sir, I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. At ease, General. I thought you'd be on Palavan. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavan. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper Fort, <laughs> so I'm advising. Nice to see you, my friend. James, Probably won't be able to come with this us. This is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. No Good or bad? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Hates humans? Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. Playing loose? What do you mean? Like me? On Tatris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Bomb Rather the both? neutralize the ring, he fell back. 
He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back huh. in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. Can I trust him? You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. If you trust him, I trust okay. him. Okay. Let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! What is it, Joker? Way, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. That's just it. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. What about Edie? I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Yeah. Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. Well, let's go bolster We're a flank. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming harvester, headed for the airfield. The fuck is that? General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus. Would Are you miss kidding? it for the I'm world. Right behind you. Okay. Thank you, breathing so hard. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, it's all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. The fuck are these? For any resources I might be able to scavenge. Let's see. Oh, there's a thing out here. No, it was probably just. My question is where the hell is Ugly Boy? Harbinger. Where's he assuming command? Yeah, where's the collectors in all this? I think we're done here. Managed to get supplies, so that was nice. Shepard, come in. Right here. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Ooh, turret section. Oh, hey, I can also level up you. Turian level. Level. Give you a bunch of upgrades. Now either increase weapon damage or health and shields. Weapon damage. Power damage or assault rifle damage. More basic. Increase power damage of squad mates. Hell yeah. If only that was sniper rifle damage of squad mates. Oh, then you would be coming with me everywhere. Don't worry, we'll level up your beloved <laughs> diddly shot. Let's see, increase ammo capacity. Or headshot damage. Ammo capacity. Increase health damage by 5% and shield and barrier damage by 20. Or improve odds of stunning target. I'd go for the overall kill kill. Damn it. He was over here just a moment ago and now he's dead.
<laughs> like creatures that can't defend themselves in a very uh, unfortified position. That's the new Saren. Saren Abomination. Why was I doing that? Went down easier than Saren. Got more ammo. That's always How nice. Far? Should be pretty quick unless we find trouble. Aye, aye, aye. But yeah, th that brute was basically Saren. Except, well, no, not really. It looked like Saren, a Turian turned Reaper host. Damn it. Look at Palamon. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. Damn. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long did it take before the fight's kicked out of them? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers. Indeed. They might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Coming together, building new shit. Got more back here. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. Matt. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Yep. Gonna go ahead and save, just in case. Can we take that thing down? Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago, in itself. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. Wish we could take down the harvester. What is with that, that thing? Was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. Welcome to the war zone. Seriously, what is that thing? It was it drop? Is that what's dropping off the orbital strike so reinforcements? Also. This some little work. I mean, a sorry, Solarian. Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. Yeah, Batarians, Batarians hate us. The first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Solarians came up with it. <laughs> and the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. At the same time, maybe Rex will be able to surprise us. But at the same time, Tachanka is probably going to have a hard time. That sounds bad! Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primark from me. Right behind you! Oh, that's an ally. My bad. 
friggin' cannibals. Move into the compound. Moving. Right behind you. Fire. Fight on the ground, like real men! Ah, fuck. Burn! Oh, there's multiple? That's not very nice. Burn! Shepherd of the Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. We need you for a meet me. Where meet. did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Lots have died. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. Hmm. What's the hesitation? What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by the book kind of guy, and I piss people you're off. You're perfect. You're literally my perfect. I've been military since the unification war. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. You sound perfect. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. We need to be able to take down these bastards. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Will do. And then we can go Without to... Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed C-Sec officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. <laughs> whatever it's worth, I'm with you. In spirit Welcome or aboard. actuality? Oh, actuality. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Yeah. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan. That's a pretty tall order. But we'll see what we can do. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. We have Rex. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... 
I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. I got more reputation. And lots of credits. Definitely should save. We'll wander around. Let's see. Journal. Priority Sir Cash. Has called for a war summit and has taken the unusual step of including the Krogan. Rendezvous with the Solarian ship and use the Normandy as neutral grounds for the summit. And that feels like the type of thing we wait on. For just a bit. Maybe... We'll have to talk to everyone, get as much information. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gareth said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. <laughs> Something about calibrations. He loves that. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Hmm, your new duties. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I can relate. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader. Yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Hmm. Palavan situation. Our things are Palavan. The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Nothing more. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Hmm, but Hatchet is on Vidcom. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. Because we're bringing we the Krogans. The Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? The attack on Earth. Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Archura's station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. I'm glad we went to Mars. Sending us to the Mars archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. Strategy for the war. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. Not the ship, you. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. That's just one battle. It's an advantage. But can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. I mean, just look the at Pavilion. The Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. 
And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. Prothean device. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Hmm. The risk it poses. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. But the Reapers scare Two me centuries more. Centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb. It might have. It might have lit the atmosphere Some on fire. Even yeah. Night Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Cerberus. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. But he's you still think crazy. Be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. Controlling the Reapers. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, oh yeah, I need to check out that again to see if there's science. anything with the synthetic it's going on. Before, and it won't now. Goodbye. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Hmm. We'll talk to Garrus. Ah, fuck. We need to check the, what do you mean, the AI core. I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. The synthetic is online, isn't it? Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. Joke. Follow What's that lead. sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire. Or something. It's the synthetic. Going in. It's online. Edie, talk to me. Edie has a new body, maybe? That's the most I can think. Edie overrode the synthetic body. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? What you doing? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Wait, what exactly happened? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. Then you're this like, I can hijack it. a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Well, that was dangerous. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? You're I basically part Geth. Within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? <laughs> Come on, missions. This weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. Interesting. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Test it first. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Nail Run down the specifics. Can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. <laughs> Lol. I can send you a full report if you wish. 
do However, it. <laughs> my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. <laughs> Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Well, Joker literally has a girlfriend now. Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. So long He's as an old friend of her, not Rex. Yeah. So long as Grunt and Rex are there, I think we can sure swim. Will, sir. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Calibration. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're going to need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. <laughs> and lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Yep. Still not convinced I should have left Paladin behind. I can relate. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Nah. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yeah, loud nah. enough, and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. Yep. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. <laughs> Won't be easy. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Nah. Something else you want to talk about? There's this task force. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The, <laughs> the old well, one. The old one was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Makes for a hell of a story. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy. Meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. Any results? What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. Family on Palabon. You mentioned you still had family on Palabon. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. 
Don't worry. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. Our chances of winning. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. <laughs> Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. No doubts. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. We're too empathetic. In this war, that's not going to happen. Primer, so you can vote us. This new Primark? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. And if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. Maybe it could be I you. General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. Well, nothing else, old friend. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damned good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. <laughs> I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. More calibrations. Ooh, armor-piercing ammo unlocked. Oh, because I talked to my boy. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw <laughs> down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. I'm just gathering some thoughts. All right. Interesting. Alliance interrogation recurred. Cerberus operative. Alliance interrogator. Uh, check out these implants. She's got a uh, jammed into her face. Shh, she's awake. Yeah, she blew up. Interesting. I'm still scared to talk to her because the game will inevitably be like, Romancer! Romancer! Because that's just what the game fucking does. Let's go to the shuttle bay, see if I can buy anything. In Reaper land. Just more upgrades for weapons. Open store. Meta gel capacity. Mm. Passive fabrication. Mm. Spectre requisitions. Pirate slavers and terminal systems. It's high impact damage and sturdy construction. Hurricane. It seems to be a. Ammo capacity. Ooh. Shields. Lots of things. Lots of things are far away, though. I'm just wondering do I want. Interesting that this is more expensive, but I think I'm gonna grab this, maybe? Ooh, I think I do. I think I do. And now I am dirt broke. Oh. Never mind. I'm going to go uh, load a save. <laughs> I'm loading a save, thank you very much. Damn it. Looks like I'm gonna have to load a faraway save. Maybe even ha redo my conversation with Garrus. Yep. Garrus. Oh, I'm 
Sovereign. Still not convinced I should. Can relate. Deadly. So you're there. Just and not until help. <laughs> Won't be easy. Something else you want to talk about? Investigate family. You mentioned you still. Don't worry. Pretty soon, blind hope is all. Chances of winning. Instead of questioning your every word. There's his test pause. To, but so I went to my father and. Thanks for a him. hell of a story. If they can I'm glad he did. I like it. Except, and if you call the results, attack, you think it helps. I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra. Primark. Then if he did try, maybe it could be you. Yeah, somebody who knows how. To. Always Wouldn't glad to have you. Now I'm... Hate to have gone super fast. All right, now I have to make sure because the thing didn't proc. That scares me. Nope, I do have armor piercing. Good, good. And I guess I should go read the... Oh, good, I'm slow-mo running. That was an interesting glitch. Well, not really You're glitch, you but... Come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. I'll be fine, Leora. I'm just... Interesting that Liar and Garrus right. are speaking. Very interesting. And I'll just keep on saving stuff in there. We'll go take a look and see if our resident Prothean wants to say anything. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? When we were fighting them. choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. How you doing, dude? I am feeling better, Commander. I stand ready to fight. Who's are? Might take you and Garrison to battle. But Commander, I found something suspicious. I shall save, we shall talk. I'll are check my emails. Right? Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. And then I I'll probably end it because we're going too long another. again. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. And was that? Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Grissom Academy? I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. I'd like to help them. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need but... to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Cerberus. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She yeah. said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Yep. Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Nice work. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. All right, new plan. Next time we begin playing, we are going to Grissom Academy immediately because fuck Cerberus. Any chance to fuck Cerberus over, the better. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot. <laughs> Did you know about this? So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? 
I trust okay, to know. Let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself <laughs> into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about he it? He has a point. Look at that. I would have baked a cake. <laughs> I am right here. I would have baked a cake. <laughs> yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. I would have baked a cake. That's a little weird. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. Adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Lol. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. Joker is hilarious. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? He likes it too no, much. he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Lol. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? I expect good judgment. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? Because you're thinking too much? Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. Until now. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? You choose your own path. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. Which is smart. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? Sure. If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Got more reputation. I want to look at my reputation. My reputation goes up. Hell yeah. But yes, we'll take a quick looky loo at the map. And Martha, you have a message from Major Elenko. He must be feeling better. Oh. Omega, come see me. Oh, Arya. Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we'll need privacy. I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come see me on the Citadel in the aptly named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. And there's a, another Purgatory. Oh, I guess she sent me multiple. Weird. Urgent message. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered an important new information about Reapers that could have direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts in the first, first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory in the Citadel at once. Shepard, I've called and sent messages, but I've gotten no response. What on Earth with Earth's comm system out? I don't... Uh, expect this will get through either, but I heard a rumor that I'm going to get docked here at Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Herta Memorial Hospital under the name Tanner Nuora. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption in my line of work. It is unwise to advertise location, particularly when I'm not in good health. We should meet before circumstances force us up again. Thane! Doc says I'm ready for visitors. Hey, Shepard. Though some combination of medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see you if you can spare the time. Council Udina offered to make me a specter, still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the hospital when you're at still. I'd like your advice. And help request. Cinder blocked. Commander, my name is Jordan Bao of Special Tactics Recon. While some have some concerns about your past activities of Cerberus, many of us in the STNR took your warnings about the Reapers seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information uh, uh, that could tie against the significant political powers of the Reapers. Otaiwa agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me at the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate uh, your discreet assistance. Okay. New, new plan. We will head to the uh, Citadel next time and go over all the things we can do there. Then we'll head to Grissom Academy. Ah, shit, a lot of places opened up. 
rescue the students. They're meet with the diplomats. We're not going there yet. Meet, meet. Minos Wasteland, the Shrike Abyssal, and Sigurd's Cradle. That's all done. So, what we'll probably do is... Citadel... Well, actually... What we'll probably do is Shrike Abyssal, scan stuff, grab the diddly do for the Volus, come back, Citadel, scan about and stuff, but not yet. Not yet, because... It is late. We've been going for a long time. We have done quite a lot, and a lot is happening, and I'm really liking this game. I still fear the end and time limits and potential curveballs it's going to throw at my face, but we will take them as they come. I'm glad to have Garrus back. Yay. And I'm scared what Tally is doing. Oh, no. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. So far, Mass Effect 3 has been a great time. But uh, if you want more from me... You can hit me up on YouTube, two YouTube channels, one an edited content YouTube channel, I swear things are coming, called Neon Icy Wings, and then a VOD channel where all these streams eventually end up. I just realized there's a keep off sticker there. But a archive channel called Neon Icy Games for where all these streams end up. And if you're one of those people already watching these here VODs and archives, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neoniceweings. And then if you want even more from me, I try to draw occasionally, which you can see the results on at over Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. They're all at neoniceweings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.